I got some tour dates for you. Tomorrow, September 27th, I will be in New Brunswick, New Jersey at the Stress Factory. Uh, get your tickets now. Come and see me tomorrow. There's a few tickets left over. I would love to see you, and I would love to meet you. Then, Washington, D.C., October 1st, I will be at the D.C. Improv. So everybody out there in D.C., Maryland, Virginia, come see your boy. Then, October 10th, I'm live in London, U.K., baby, at the Leicester Square Theater. Uh, that's going to be a great one. Then I am in Northern Ireland, Belfast, October 15th. November 11th, New York City, Gramercy Theater, part of the New York Comedy Festival. That is going to be my biggest show to date, hometown show. Expecting to sell that one out for sure. Tickets are going pretty fast, so try and get your tickets for that one now. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. It's a 3 p.m. matinee show going to be a lot of fun we're going to have an after party after as well so yeah um that show is going to be awesome i can't wait to see people in new york city um november 12th i will be in albany new york at the new york funny bone come check me out at the funny bone november 15th i'll be at the brea improv in california november 16th i'll be at the oxnard levity live in california november 19th i will be at the san jose improv in california and then November 26th, I will be in Syracuse, New York. So yeah, get your tickets. Um, tickets are available uh, with the description in the video. And if you're listening, you can go to my Instagram and click on my link tree and all tickets and all dates will be there. And I can't wait to see you guys. Um, yeah, love you. Let's get into the show. What's up, little queef mama? You know, there's... One thing that I love is going in between your thighs, but even better is getting in there and getting that queef surprise. That little sound of your vagina lips flapping in the wind like a goddamn Algonquin man on a horse in the summertime. Queefing me up, queefing me down, queefing me up in this side of town. Queefing me up, Queefing me down, that queef music is my favorite sound. Queefing me up, queefing me down, queefing me up in this side of town. Queefing me up, queefing me down, that queef music is my favorite sound. Queefing me up, queefing me down, queefing me up in this side of town. Queefing me up, queefing me down. That queef music is my favorite sound. Queefing me up, queefing me down. Queefing me up in this side of town. Queefing me up, queefing me down. That queef music is my favorite sound. She my little queef queen. When I get down there, she be giving me that fucking queef scene. Yeah, baby, when I come over, you wanna set you up and get all my favorite parts? Uh. Get inside that pussy, take my dick out, then I hear those frontal farts. Oh, yeah, it's like a warm air conditioner air hitting me in the face when I get out down there. Cause you're queefing me up, queefing me down, queefing me up in this side of town. Queefing me up, queefing me down, that queef music is my favorite sound. Yeah. Them queefy farts got me Got me, baby Oh, they got me Damn, they got me, baby They got me listening Sing it, Jerry What do your lips want to say to my P.O.? Tell them, baby, girl Tell them, probably saying thank you Thank you For lashing me up Lashing me up Got my balls slap against your lips, yeah there ain't nothing they can't say to me. I wanna listen to you. They're queefing me up, queefing me down, queefing me up in this side of town. Queefing me up, queefing me down. That queef music is my favorite sound. Queefing me up, queefing me down. That queef music is my favorite sound. Queefing me up, queefing me down. That queef music is my favorite sound. Oh, queefy girls, 
Queefy girls, put your queefy lips up Move them to the left and the right Flap your up. lips Flap your lips tonight Talk All my queefer Sutherlands Flap those lips tonight yeah. uh, Hit me with that queef air, baby yeah. Queef air, wanna see that queef air, baby Yeah, wanna feel it in my face All over the place That's my favorite thing to do Queefing me up, queefing me down Queeving me up in this side of town Queeving me up, queeving me down That queef music is my favorite sound Queeving me up, queeving me down Queeving me up, queeving me down Queeving me up, queeving me down That queef music is my favorite sound <laughs> <laughs> Go <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Oh, that was tight. Are we still? Are we still? I got a little bit. Just hit it. Yeah, there it is. Now you just gotta get mine. Are we good? Oh, I got a little echo. Hit that echo. Off. Yeah. And we're what's back. Up? And we're back, dude. That Jared, good. what's good? That was great. That was right? fucking. Was that our first take? That was our first real take. That was our first real take. I went to another place. Not to like brag about it and be Brag Boy McJohnson. Yeah, I don't like to brag, but when I Not do. Not to be Bragatha with Jones. <laughs> Bra Bragatha. Bra braggadocious? Agatha? Agatha? That's the real word, braggadocious. I think yeah. that's the real term, braggadocious. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Low Priori Podcast. My name is Michael to the goddamn. My, my, my name is Michael Sideways Low Priori. We got Amen. nicknames. This is uh, Jared fucking Bottom Jackson Low Priori. <laughs> and uh, we are filling in today for. Danny, really? I mean, this yeah. is who we are anyway. But right. Danny's not here today. Yeah. Us. So yeah. Danny's so Dan dog has fucking <laughs> diarrhea shit. Tornado shits or something. Danny's like that. dogs get sick more than any other dogs I've ever met in my life. Yeah, they're terrible. They're like old fucking ladies. Yeah. And his wife is in Fort Lauderdale, and uh, and so Danny had to stay home and do dad shit. Yeah, and dogs. we and we were like, you know what, bro? You put a lot of work into the show, so let us fucking let us fucking take over today. Yeah, I didn't even know until I was coming to pick you up. <laughs> yeah, da Jared's like, yo, is Danny fucking like what's good? And I was like, oh, he didn't tell you. Like, it's just you and me today. And he was like, all right, let's do it. Jared's da Jared's always down. I'm always down. If I'm not working, I am completely down to do this. I yeah. look forward to it. It's my favorite part of the week. So, how yeah. how was your week so far? What's going on? Week's been good, man. Everything's yeah. good. Yeah, at twelve and about. Uh, two hours. I'm gonna be one year sober, bro. It's fucking get it. Fucking get that shit. Fucking craziest shit in my life. Fuck getting you, drunk. Fuck ah, it. Fuck it. Fucking worst year of my life, honestly. No, I'm just has it been hard? No, it's been amazing. It is. It, it is has hard. been very. It's been fucking difficult. Yeah. It is. But like, I don't know, man. I don't want to be that guy that's just like, yeah, you know, I'm sober, bro. You know what I mean? Like, change your life. Because I'm not that. I think about like some of those people and they're doing good for people who have real problems. But yeah, like, course. I don't want to be, I I'm talking about it a lot, but that's cause like, if I'm going to go sober, that's the least you guys could fucking deal with. Yeah. You know I mean, cause I, it's dry. It drives me nuts sometimes. Like everyone gets to take, I see everyone taking their edge off. Yeah. After a long day with like a drink, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Or, or a cigarette or whatever it is. Cause I said, I told myself I'm not going to do anything. I was going to smoke weed during this. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to smoke weed. So much better for you too, though. Yeah, I but feel it does cause anxiety. It does. It do, dealing with anxiety and not self medicating and yeah. you know, it's a smart move to go completely clean, right? I and everyone's so. like, "Go get medicine," and I'm like, "That needs insurance." Like my insurance is canceled. I I don't get in my insurance back until November. Yeah, so you should. So I'm not even around. on medicine. Yeah, right. I just what like up? what it's go the, to my clon plugs. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, I just hit the pusher man and get a clon because yeah, hook me up. Hook me up. Yeah, I do. I do it like the old school. Like nowadays, they're like, find a medicine that fits you, right? And that like yeah, fits your, bo fit your body and your fucking cycles, right? And I'm just like doing it old school. I'm like, just put that clown in my mouth. Let's see what happens. Has booze always been your go-to uh, poison? Uh, since I was 16, yeah. No shit. E even over weed, over anything else. Weed was first, yeah. And then I realized I was doing that too much. But alcohol just had this like cooler calmer uh flow for me with my self-confidence socially so i oh, was like oh i can talk to girls better it, yeah because oh, sure. like oh you're you, unbreakable when you're drunk like, yeah when you got yeah few, when you're because you don't muscles, care yeah you could say whatever but now i've been working those social muscles 
yeah. where I don't fucking give a, a fuck. Uh, I don't give a fuck. A fuck. I don't fuck give a fucking so shit. Bad. Fuck a Hulk Hogan. Well, Dan, Danny, does <laughs> it so, Danny does it so good. Yeah, I miss Danny. Um, but I also want to say, before we start again, obviously, shout out to everybody that watches Low Prairie Podcast. Yes. Me, Jared, Danny, and has been supporting the shit out of the podcast for as long as you guys can. Shout out to all the fucking yeah. listeners that are still around. Like, we appreciate you guys. We all have our own shit going on. Jared just moved back. So Jared was Jared was originally going to be a part of the podcast uh, when we first initially yeah, wanted to start. Yeah, before I, I went to work in Miami. Right. Yeah, that was the talk. Right. Which was, like, a great job for him. So, like, he went, then it was me and Danny, it, but... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, again, thank you guys for joining us today. I don't even know what number this is, like a hundred and something. But uh, thank We're you guys there. for uh, for for being with us. Yeah, and and my week was honestly it was good. It's just now it's rain. You see the weather's now. You're getting that New York weather. Yeah, weather's been shit. Right. And yeah. how was uh? I was gonna ask you like how yours was too because I know you're working. Well, your my fucking week, ass. My off. week was busy, man. Um, I had a lot of things going on. I had to go to that funeral that week. Yeah, which was pretty tough. Um. But it was good to see some people that I haven't seen in a while. You know, a lot of a lot of the people from that era of my life were, I mean, they were positive experiences, but, you know, it was also a very shady time in my life, too. So when I got there, I wasn't sure how I was going to be received, but it was a lot of love. <clears throat> uh, and uh, the family seemed to be doing well, considering the circumstances. So that was that that was kind of nice to see. And then the rest was just fucking work, man. I've just been working a lot and doing events and uh, celeb parties and birthdays and blah, 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 blah. But, but, um, but yeah, it's getting fucking cold, dude. Yeah, Are well, you it's like, do you, do you, does this feel cold to you or am I just being, if I would have been, if I would have been wearing, well, I mean, it's definitely cooler. I yeah. wouldn't say it's like, I wouldn't say it's like cold. Brick. It's brick though. Yeah. But I can wear hoodies. At the beginning of like fall is my favorite fucking season. I love this fucking season. Especially I love yeah, I love the colors. Yeah. Everything right. starts to turn orange and yellow and shit. It's a cool it's a cool uh it's I just cool I just like I like boots and fucking jeans and boobs fucking, boobies. I like I like boots and jeans. Boots. Footwear. Boobs are good too during boobs the fall because nipples get hard a little bit. Right. Right. You yeah, start seeing some hard nips. Also, like I feel like yeah. I there's been times where I've seen hard. like you know you know how like uh there's some women who are just like, let us like we shouldn't have to wear bras. Like, let us do that. Let, and I'm like, don't. and I'm like, yeah, please great. don't. Great. Who's get who's getting mad at that? I think there's like weird guys who are just like, put your bras on. Well, I think like some there people, are yeah. weird, like fucking yeah, weird ass get, guys like that. They're all stressed out by like their sexuality. I, I yeah, it has to be a just sexuality. Don't be mad thing. at me if you catch me looking, because the thing is, is that through a shirt, I'm trying to envision what what I'm looking at, you know, because it's kind of covered, yeah, and it's not. So I'm thinking, yeah. like, man, I could see like the little braille parts of her areola, and I'm like, yeah, wow, that, that see, this nice. is see, this is the thing. It's like respectfully, like I want to just, I'll take a look, yeah, a, a just and a, I'll just go, whoa, nips, yeah, and then I'll like turn and, then I can and I'll on. just go fucking forward because it's just like I'm not gonna say no to saying so. Looking at nips, I have to look at nips, like right. It's hard for me naturally because we're and we're machines, bro, right. We're natural it's biological a, it's, machines. It's hard for me to not look at hard ass nips and go, God right. damn, those nips are hard right now. And then and then move on. Yeah, and then just move on. That's it. Right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be like, it. oh man, <laughs> nips. Dude. Like I don't I'm not gonna close that image in my head of a random girl I met on the street and then go home. Uh, I might actually what I did when I was like 18, maybe I would have. But not anymore. <laughs> now I move on because like <laughs> I, I also sex is weirder when you get older. Because like I I say this joke all the time, but it's like even, even jerking off, it's like when you first jerked off when you were a kid, it was like the most amazing thing. You're like, oh, yeah, oh my god, sitting. I came. What yeah. the hell? Like you waited for everyone to leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, a, I, you still do that. We we'll still do that now. But yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you wait for yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah, you might be wait. <laughs> wait, where's the weirdest place you ever jerked off? You think? We've talked about oh, this work, before for bro. sure. You jerked off at work? Hell yeah. I don't think I've ever jerked off at work before. Yeah, at work. How's that? How'd that go? It was a survival jerk. You had to do it because you had to get through it. <laughs> yeah. It was like taking a shot during the day, but I was just. Dude, that has to be a shirt. You got, I had to do it because I had to get through it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So fucking copyright that. And it's just I like, a, it and it's just a piece of jizz flying. <laughs> just jizz across. Yeah. Just, the and letters then, just and then covered like in to, jizz. To make it look like it's a real graphic tee, like the jizz lands on your right sleeve. <laughs> it's, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, just it's like, from here to here. Yeah, just from there to there. It's like, in order to get. And you got to do it if you want to get through it. How about you? Where's the weirdest place you ever spanked it? I, t I said this on the stream, but it's when I went to uh, Cumberland Island with my buddies. They all went to sleep. 
And uh, I, I just, I, I, we just did acid, and my brain was like stressed yeah, out from all the work. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna fucking go to the end of the beach where I can't see them anymore, like where the horizon. And just spanked it on the beach. And I just fucking, I, I just like, I just like looked at the sun. I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> as the sun was coming up, and as I was jerking it and about to nut. Stallions started riding by. You're fucking lying. like a sta- like, like random wild horses, wild horses, and and like their two fucking colts and fucking fillies. What just started running by? And as I was nutting, I was like, oh! <laughs> and it was the most amazing. It was like nutting in like a fucking dream. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've ever like. It was a. I, at first, it was just oh to get a nut God. off. It, it was to get a nut off, but it was like, it was like a. Like the only way I can describe it is like if Jesus lets you jerk off in heaven, that's what it's like. <laughs> that's what it's like. It was like jerking off in heaven. <laughs> the stallions are a bonus. When they came by, I was like, "Is it is it like bestiality if they ride by and I'm nutting at the same time?" Because no, I was like, "This beautiful. is weird. Should I be like alarmed?" But they kept going by. I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> and I don't think I'll ever be I able can't to stop t- coming. <laughs> But I've never like I have friends who like jerked off at school, and I'm like, I guess, but I could never yeah. do that. Well, not I, in those I little mean, weird stalls. Yeah, I mean, and there's dude, nothing weirder to me than like jerking. Teen- what were you gonna say? When you're a teenager, though, you're just raging hormones. Yeah, you know, like- but it's weird to me to jerk off and like keep quiet though. I don't like. I think that's weird. Are you a noisy guy? You no, know? I'm not like yeah. Give it to yourself, Michael. <laughs> but like, you like looking at yourself. <laughs> that, you? That's where hey, it's like, hey, me, you want some of me? Yeah, where you're just like self gay. <laughs> You're, you're you're like looking at yourself and you're just like oh yeah give it to yourself sorry nipples sorry oh yeah sorry nipple sorry nipple you know what I've realized me and Danny were uh, like um, That's so fucking good little Nikki is basically like uh, uh, Jennifer Coolidge yeah, dude it's, <laughs> it's right it, a little bit it is she's like oh, Jennifer Coolidge so it's it's like, oh, I'm Stifler's mom yeah no that's and then like if you and then like if you talk like fucking Nikki, yeah, he's just all Popeye chicken as the shit. That's the shit. You bite the beat off and let it slide down your throat. Let it slide down your throat. That that movie is so fucking underrated. I it feel is like. underrated, for and his, uh, yeah, for I, Adam Sandler movies. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. But yeah, I I uh, I just I don't I don't think I've because I'm always weirded out. I'm like I need to be home and like in my bed. But I remember the first few times I used to smoke weed, my brain was so new to it. I could envision things, and it was so clear. I could like see it like I was in a dream. But like visualizing we, yeah. the, during the beat off? Yeah, I would actually see it. Like so, I would think about girls I either was with and yeah. I wasn't at their house. Ha- because, you know, when you're like 15, like, you can't like go to their crush. house at night. No, you couldn't. Smash. Or FaceTime them. Yeah. I remember movies. the first, I, dude, getting my first real like kiss. I mean, my first real kiss was when I was in, I think like sixth or fifth grade. Who was your first real kiss? Can you tell this girl, Katie, anything? this girl, Katie Brown, I think Katie that was her Brown. full, her name, her full name. I love how we just give full names. I, I believe show. you, but that sounds like such a made up name. No, yeah, I don't. This Katie Smady. No, it was, that's her real name. Danny knows her. We went to, I bet. Danny was like, well, it was two years younger than us, but it was at some party and they were like, let's, so kids in fucking Jersey were so weird. Yeah. We watched mature movies when we were kids, like. Yeah, my, my first curse word was fuck because mom and dad are watching like Scarface. Or no, something. we were watching Midnight Run. Oh yeah, oh is that what it was? Midnight Run with uh, with De Niro and uh, Charles Grodin. Oh, it was that yeah. movie. And there's just f bombs every two seconds. Oh, that. and then I just go fuck. Yeah, we were at a hotel, and all of a sudden oh. you just turned around, and you're just like fuck, and I was like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, it's on. Baby now, brains are so weird because right. you don't even. They're just scanning things, and all of a sudden you'll just. They just say it like yeah. a Tourette thing. It's like, oh fuck. But maybe that was like my first Tourette's. Who was, knows? That was it. No, that was just you enjoying the sound. Oh, you were there. Fuck. I was there. We were we were staying in a hotel. We used to do um, we used to do like hotel vacations. <laughs> That's cool. Do you remember those? Yeah. When we dad would just be like, all right, everybody get together. We're gonna go stay at like the Marriott, and we'd swim in the pool for a couple of days, yeah. and just like do hotel shit. I don't know where they would be, but they would be throughout like the tri-state area. We wouldn't go far, but it was like it was a vacation to us, you know. And we were watching Midnight Run is probably you know somewhere late at night in the room, and you were sitting at the edge of the bed on the ground, and we were all on the beds like scattered out. And De Niro probably said "fuck" for like the three hundredth time in that movie. Yeah, and you just turned around and you were just like "fuck," and I was just like "yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah." You're like you yeah. said "fuck," and they were like "whoa," yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's been on ever since. Yeah, and I, I've, I've, 
there someone counted the one single episode that I did for the Low Prairie podcast when we were when I was doing like the news yeah. edition of How it. How many? I think I said it five hundred times. On the show? Yeah, someone said. Someone counted it. They said I cursed. F I said fuck 500 times. So without saying you're. I, you think that's the most used? Yeah, I'm a big fuck guy. Yeah. All the time. I can't I can't oh, help it. There's been times where I've guy. met. I've met girls that I'm talking to as like parents. And yeah. I have like had to stop myself. Especially if I get too comfortable with them. And they're chill at first. Yeah. I'll be like, you know, I don't. I just disrespectful. don't. Yeah, I don't give a fuck is like my big thing. Like I say, I D G A F all day, all day long. Yeah, I yeah. said it like it was like a lesbian, such a great like word, a gay community. Yeah, I D G A F. I D G A F. I'm part of the I D G A F community. T I plus. I don't but, give a uh, fuck. But yeah, like um, that's my well. Well, what's your big? You don't really curse that. You do, I but cuss. like I, I cuss the storm. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like the world's favorite word is fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, cunt. It's, it, oh man, yeah. Cunt's a very powerful word. Cunt, too. yeah, and 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 honestly, I try to save that for very special people. You know what I mean? Like, I try not to use that word too much um, because I love it so much. The see you next Tuesdays. So when I dedicate it to somebody, they've earned it. It's just a very uh, expressive word. Uh, but but I'm also a big like stub my toe on the coffee table. Ah, oh, your sister's cunt. That kind of thing. You yeah. know what I mean? That's one that, that you should, say all the time. Yeah, you uh, say, your sister's your ass. Sister's your cunt. sister's box. Well, because in Your Australia they fucking say cunt like it's and and in and in the UK they say, well in England anyway they say cunt like it's fucking yeah, like putting it's butter nothing. on toast. <laughs> putting butter. They really don't. It's but, it's uh, also it's several meanings. It can cunt can be bad and it can be like ah oh, you cunt like fucking around yeah, with yeah, somebody. Yeah. It's not always like a bad thing. Yeah, not because I called because I called Kiana a cunt. <gasps> When, when we were when we when I was about like six or something because I think I heard you or someone say it. <laughs> so I called, so I was like, we "Fuck sick. you, you cunt!" Like you know, when you're a kid too, you just say it. I that is, that dude, is a serious word for it, a six year old. It's rock. so weird. I was outside. It, it, I was outside on Nepperhand from at the tree where you fell. Yeah, I did fall. And Keanu time. was outside and was like, "Don't go up in the tree." And I was like, "Shut up, cunt!" <laughs> like just like that, like immediately. Yeah. And I don't know what happened when you're a kid. How did she respond? You just say stuff, but I still knew it was bad. So yeah. why the fuck would I say? Oh, Keanu came out and beat the shit out of me. Yeah, she did. She I slapped think, the shit out. Of yeah, me. I think as a kid you say stuff because you see it gets a reaction out of people. Yeah. But I guess when you understand how to apply it, it becomes, it becomes more malicious and like dirty yeah. because yeah. it's like when a kid's running, like if a two year old kid was in here right now running around going like fuck you, fuck you, it, it would be funny. Right. But but. But once you go up to a kid and you're like, hey, you need to clean up your room. And they're like, fuck you. Then you're just like, you see, that's not cute anymore. No. You know what I mean? Like no, now, it's not. Now, no, you know what, little fucker? Fuck you. Yeah. How about that? You know? But uh, yeah, little potty mouth kids are, are always crack me up. Farts. But even though they don't know what they're disgusting. saying, it's like they still know it's bad because you're using it against yeah. someone. But no, maybe it's because you're using it, but right. you've seen them do it and you didn't see any consequences take place. Well, yeah. Look at it this way. If I'm punishment. If, if I was running, or if I was running through the street, and I was just like, "Yeah, fuck yeah," you like, "Yo, look, he's having so yeah, much fun." Yeah. But if I was running the street, and I was like, "Yeah, fuck you," well, then we you were, would be like, "Fuck you right. too." You well, know? we were big under our breath, kids too. Like, mom would be like, "Just do it," and be like, "Shut up, you fucking asshole." She'd be like, "What?" And, and you're like, like nothing. "Nothing." And you're like, nothing. slam the drawer. Because I remember you, and then remember our remember the booger jar we used to have back in the day when we were lived on Nepperhan as well. There was all these things we collected, but I collected. Like a, I had like a booger jar, and you'd what? be like, "Yo, that was a huge one." Oh, well, I don't remember that. Yeah, we had a, yeah, that? we had a booger jar, and I would and we put would my pick boogers and stash them in there. No, you would make me, you wouldn't make me, but you would like be like, "Did you get a good one today?" And you like put it in the, let me see it, put it in this one. <laughs> what the fuck was wrong with me? I don't know. I have no idea. I just how, did it because I thought it was cool. How big of a jar? It was like a glass jar, and we were just putting my huge boogers in it. It wasn't even yours; it was just mine. You'd be like get another one. Cause I think, cause I think I just pulled I gnarly one, cause I had like a big nose. I was teaching you to save money. Yeah, you were teaching me. Yeah, no, for looking for booger right. for booger crystals. Jesus Christ! You don't remember that? I don't. Then we used to Dude, do. I was uh, fucked up. What's wrong with me? I don't know. We were fucking. You were you were you're seven years older, right? Yeah. So what was I like? You were 11? we were five. You were yeah. probably like 11. 12, 11. Is it? Like, it doesn't ever feel like we were that age. I know. We were though. And yeah, now, but now just, I feel like I'm fucking 12. 
Yeah, I don't feel like much has changed besides the fact that, you know, you just, <laughs> the, only, the only thing I think about when you get over is like, I've seen things. I've seen things, all types of things. That's the only thing that changes. And it's true. Right? I have seen a bunch of shit. What year in your life do you think, how old are you when you were just like, I've seen some, sh- I've, I've seen some shit? Like a real, like real, yeah. like real question to real answer. Like when were you, when, when do you think was like the first time you saw, and you don't have to be specific, but when was I like think the first time you, think you th- saw something that like changed you as a person? Oh, very young, very young. And, and they were all different types of things. I mean, I would say probably 10 or 11, you know, I think, I think seeing like, I remember the first time this is getting, I don't want to sound like crazy, but like seeing like a cat get hit by a car. You're like, whoa. Yeah. Cause you're like, you're, yeah, cause you're you, like, you don't know how to shit. handle it. Yeah, yeah. You're like, dude, that's fucked. And then as you get older, then you see like, uh, I think the first time you go to like a wake or a funeral, you know what I mean? And then I was 16 and I saw childbirth. You know what I mean? Oh, I was yeah, in the room for saw, that. And you saw it. And I was like, what the fuck? What did you, did you see it in the mirror? Or did you like, were you, were they no. like, was she like, was everyone like, look at it? So, so Jen was in labor for hours. I mean, like going on past 24 hours. Yeah. But it was just contractions. And then when she finally, when they finally realized that she wasn't going to dilate and they had to induce her. Right, like start the whole thing. Um, they took her out of the room that we were in, and and then they just came in. I think I think Biz had the uh, the umbilical cord was wrapped around Biz's neck, so they had to do a C section emergency. So right. they come in and they're just like, "Put this on and follow us." And then so I put on all the fucking scrubs and shit. I'm going to the other to the other delivery room, but it's a surgical delivery room. It's not like the regular delivery room. Yeah. Um. And there's like two doors. There's one door locked and then another door. It's like, to, I guess, to stop germs or whatever. Yeah. And I'm trying to get into that shit. And all of a sudden, I don't hear Jen anymore. Oh, shit. Like, it, she just gets quiet. So it's like, if she's screaming and yelling, then you know she's alive. But it just went quiet. Right. So did you like freak I out? I fucking freaked out. Yeah, of course. I freaked out. I started like kicking the fucking door. And I was like fucking barging at it, like trying to get me in. Finally, they got me in. And I get in. And fucking, they have her like skin is completely up yeah so i walk in there's a tarp blocking her from seeing her lower body she's yeah. lying down obviously yeah like vag out. skin no it was they had sliced open oh her you abdomen. saw like a sliced open person dude i walked in Damn, and it was it's... literally like picture like this being up oh. and looking directly into like the lower part of her abdomen like where the baby was being held in the cervix and Oh. Dude, it was fucking a uterus. I'm sorry. It was fucking crazy. And I like immediately looked away. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, that and then I went around. Sca- yeah, because it's all like blood and everything. Well, and- it was it, it, dude, it was it was crazy. It was like some fucking it was literally it was seeing the inside of a person. Yeah. Fuck. Right. So they I go around the tarp. I'm talking to Jen, who's still awake because they just have them on like lower, you know, whatever the, the anesthesia keeps them awake because they have to breathe and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I guess it might vary in certain I was talking to her, and then she, because of the anesthesia, or whatever the, her body was going through, she fucking threw up on me, and it was this like antifreeze green looking fucking. Puke. Jesus Christ! It sounds like a fucking scene from Alien and Exorcist. Dude, it was it was crazy, like and I'm together. sixteen, bro. 16, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, right? that's fucking crazy. And then, and then the baby, and then Biz came out, and baby was good, and then like handed it to me, and I'm like, sure to to Elizabeth, uh, to Jen, and Jen is just like, Bruh, like all fucking geeked up, and yeah, she's like, let me throw up on it. She's like, oh, let, me let me just, eat just it. puke on it. Like, oh, yes, yeah, I remember her just not. I remember resp- thinking like. Why is she not excited? I'm like, what was was like, what was like the famous line she said? Or she's like, Smurfs are in town. She was like, my mom takes English lessons with bunny rabbits. Yeah. 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 (laughs) It was like like, something like that. Yeah. And that was it. And then, and then that was it. And then after that, it was like other shit I won't go into, but things that I saw like just in the street and, you know, things that went on in life. So I'd, I'd say by like 28, 25, 28, 30, between 20. I had seen pretty much everything. Did you guys ever, when you were that age, did you ever think like, w- was there a whole process where you were, w- where it was too late to, like, did you ever think about, because uh, you're kids at the time, right? You're 16. I was 16. And any normal person would contemplate like, should we get an adoption or should we do this? Like, yeah. did you, or were you guys just like, we're I don't just going to have yeah, a kid? I know. I mean, Jen... Jen wasn't like a strict Catholic at the time, and later on became Christian. I, but, but I don't, I don't, uh, I we, I don't remember. We probably had the conversation of of not keeping the kid. You know, you know what I mean? Like, 
scared to death, obviously, but Jen seemed pretty adamant about keeping it from the beginning. And I was like, okay, yeah, you know, yeah, let's yeah. Do it. yeah, I was scared to death. I was scared to death. I don't, I don't think, I think if I had, if I, oh, sorry, that's fucking terrible. No, you're okay. Um, you're all right. I think if I had, um, if I had put more thought into it and had better advice, I probably, I probably would have suggested to Jen, we're, we're really too young. You know, yeah. Just just because I think it, it it impacted you know women getting pregnant it impacts their life so greatly. You know what I mean? Like a guy couldn't walk away from it and be neglectful. She took it head on, and she you know and but she stayed focused. There were parts of her life that she really stayed focused. She went to school, she went to college, she did her thing. Where I was a bit of a fucking idiot, and I ran around. I worked my ass off. You know yeah, I mean? you were working all I the time, like but you were crazy. you were getting like you were still going out but like, like I late dropped, and drinking. Yeah, and, stuff, I, and yeah. I dropped out of school. I went back and got my GED years later. I I, yeah. I fucked with college a little bit, but you know, I think I think I just would have been a better dad if I had waited. You know, and I think I was a better dad the second time around, and and that relationship was tough too. So it made it very difficult for me to. Yeah to my full capability of being a good dad. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You ever, you ever think you'll have kids? Is that something you ever think about? I mean, my thing is, is that if it happened somehow and we were going to, I would just do it. I would just like deal with it and have one, of course. Uh, but no, I don't like fucking think about it. Cause my, my idea is like, I'm not, I don't want to give this thing all my fucking money right now. Well, you know what I mean? Well, I'm just yeah. sitting there like, I'm not giving this little shit my fucking money. I'm not doing all this <laughs> shit. Like I just, I just like um, kids are cool and everything like that. But uh, I just like I'd rather be an uncle. I could fucking have a kid for a fucking a week and then send them the fuck back to their goddamn no, it's, place. Yeah, it's I I, I honestly you know, say kids are awesome. I just kids don't are amazing. I, I just don't I don't know if I'm I can't imagine my life like that. But I I know it's like it's a it's a change that just takes place. Oh hit it hit me with it. Oh that was sick. That was so good. That's fucking nasty. I farted so loud in the car to where, in the car when I was coming to get you. I had to like put all the windows down and fucking floor it so that I didn't kill you when you got in the car. Um, so it wasn't too bad. But I'm used to it anyway. Yeah, but I tell everybody the same thing about kids. Like it's it's not it. There's so many worse things you could do as a young person. I remember Grandpa, our our, our dad's dad, mm -hmm. Angelo, was like. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna give me bad news, like you killed somebody or some shit. You didn't like to him. Yeah, well, because Plus people back country, in the day were having yeah, kids were having at twelve. Kids, yeah, yeah, exactly. They're fucking old, psychos. Old, old country for him. I don't think he was like, ah, eh, whatever. You know, no. we expected that. They, that or that, and they were fucking doing adoptions with fucking with fucking uh, fucking vacuums and shit. They're fucking mm -hmm. nut or whatever they had back then. Yeah, they were just like everything else was a lot mean, more. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, yeah, doing like abortions. Uh, like just with fucking whatever. I, I still don't I still don't understand why like I don't know. I still don't understand why people want so many kids. I just feel like that's so much stress. But yeah. also it's your culturally it, it differs. Yeah, well it's your life too. I mean you could do you could do uh you could do whatever you yeah. want. There's not there's nothing wrong with having a lot of kids, especially if you want to be able to afford it. And also having family is is great. I don't want to sit here and act like I've never liked family. Like having a big family yeah, was yeah, yeah. such a beautiful, interesting thing. And it made growing up easy. It made going to people's houses easy. I'm sure it made it easy for mom and dad if they had to go out and do their own thing. You have more people to look up on. Because if you do love family, you'll watch a kid or whatever. You'll babysit here and there. Or, or, or you'll try to be there for them. Obviously, not everyone's going to do that. But having a big family is cool. I just... When I think about when someone's like, do you want one kid? I'm like, nah, I don't want that little bitch to have like all my shit. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to give all my time. <laughs> and then everyone's like, well, what? You don't want to like, oh, it's selfish. And I'm like, I don't even know if I really want to be responsible for bringing a kid into the world who might fucking hate it. Right. And I think culturally, certain cultures are, you know, not so much that I guess they're more about family. We're like, you need, you know, you need to go to school. You need to get married. You need to have kids. You need to do this. You need to do that. Certain cultures that is promoted. I mean, you you look at like um, you look at uh, like Christian Christians, right? Like um, missionaries or people that travel and all. They always have like fucking ten kids. Yeah, they always have it's a like, shit ton of kids. And I'm like, what's that all about? And it's biblical for them. It's biblical. I think it is too. It's There's like, like a... breed and make babies and spread the word of God yeah. and dress up, you know, in shitty clothes and freak people out. But here's the thing about fucking. Here's the thing about church. Uh, and I'm just going to say this because we grew up with our dad being a, a minister. 
yeah, and a street pat preacher, whatever you want to call yep. it, whatever he he had a bunch of different titles, because dad was good at talking, and going <laughs> with mom and dad was a nice thing because they made church comfortable because they weren't fucking weirdos, and you could tell that they you just that energy from mom and dad was always normal. They were on the verge sometimes. Not even weird. normal. I mean, of course they were looking for something, but you know, I mean, mom needed something. I mean, she was getting beat up and fucking all sorts of shit in her life by her Oh no, no, no. Oh, for sure. There was definitely there was definitely value and necessity. But let's talk about how weird church church for children is fucking weird. It is weird. The, the scriptures, fucking yeah. the son sacrifice, dad Sunday sacrificing school. sons, brothers killing each other, yeah. fucking just. Also, you go, you, you know, when I was a kid, I'm going in there and I'm like, is anybody fucking smile in here? Like, yeah. and then when they did, it was fucking creepy. It was like, hey, he's like, hello, yeah. son of God. Yeah. And you're just like, what the fuck? And like, you what? go in, like, there's not a single stained glass. With anybody smiling, everyone looks like they're fucking dying yeah. or someone's gonna die or like misery. Everything was, yeah, it's very, no, it's well, just, ca well, it's ca just very, it's Catholic very, church, though? no, I'm talking about our church. Yeah. Like any fucking regular ass church that you go into, there's no like, like, can we get some like, like happy Jesuses? Like, there's no like yeah. fucking Jesus on a window, like, let's do this. Like, why does everything have to be so serious and miserable? It's weird. Like, I remember going in there and mom was like, you come up with me. Like Sunday school is cool because you were with other kids. They were like, "Yo, what up? I don't know about Jesus either. What's up? Yeah. Like this is mad weird. Our parents are strange." But like <laughs> si s going near someone and seeing, like I remember seeing this guy just like, "Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. like because he's letting go." Like now I realize he's letting go of all the shit that he was probably dealing with in his life, and he's yeah. an older gentleman. But to me, I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with that guy?" Yeah. Like why no, am the I? Because as a kid, Bible you cry over only real serious shit. Like, and then you're seeing him do it out of nowhere. You don't really see adults cry. Yeah. And you're just like, what is this place? Like, what is this about? And like, you learn that Jesus, at one point, what you get filled with is like, Jesus is a savior. Jesus, or Jesus died for your sins. Like, just be a good little boy or a good little girl yeah. and all that stuff. It's like Santa Claus. And that's fucking weird. It is weird. It, it, no, religion is, is definitely weird. And I remember, I remember meeting some really cool people at church uh, that they were all like, like I, I remember this one dude named Bobby. I won't say his last name, but uh, but Dad knows who he is. He was just the dude that he was an adult at church, but he just made it so much more fun. And he'd come up to you and he'd be like, "What's up, buddy? Did you feel Jesus yeah, today?" And yeah. he'd be like, "He'd be like, ah, oh, maybe you didn't." He's like, "That's okay. Maybe you'll feel him next Sunday." And he'd be like, "Come on, let's go outside and poke it. You know, poke fun at other people." Yeah. And I'm like, "I like this dude. This dude gets it." And then there were other ones that would be standing in the corner. They'd be like. Yeah, in yeah, the name of Jesus. Yeah. yeah, and then all of a sudden, like you would do something bad and be like, yeah, and look up, and that person would be staring at you. You'd be like, oh fuck. Yeah, or like, just like, like looking. And yeah, and it was definitely just weird. extremists in certain and it was, ways. And it was like '90s clothes, and everything was like baggy, terrible suits, and it, and it just smelled like old weird ass wood, and like, like they're just. Uh, church is just weird. Like Bible school though was fucking fire. I like, yeah, I like. Because I was to like touching girls' Sunday butts school. and getting kissed and stuff. And nice. I was like, we were doing, yeah, we were not, dude. There was kissing at, at this Bible thing that I went to, and I was like, what the fuck? I, Way cooler than mine. I was like, this is Jesus like. I like it. I like it. Sinners. Yeah. I'm I was in like sinners class. Yeah. I was like, I want to go back next week <laughs> to please us, Jesus. It was like it was like special ed for for Sunday school. It was, it was so. Like, all it like was like. It was just, so I don't know. Was, I forgot where we went, but when I thought it was weird was when we would go to churches that weren't our church, yeah. wasn't our community. And they did that, that in, like the body, like dude, body, putting body of Christ in a kid's mouth and then giving them wine is weird. Yeah. It's a, and calling it the blood of Christ. Like how is any of that not, I mean, like it's not the worst thing you could do, but that's kind of like weird and traumatizing in a way. And dad never really, dad, I feel like there were a few years where dad was like, this is what we're doing. You're going to church, you're doing this, you're doing that, which, yeah. I, which is normal, yeah. I guess, it, you know. But once I got to a certain age, he didn't really stress me about it anymore. There was a breakage between dad and the church that had. Well, he just saw bullshit. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's, he, he, he never stopped being a spiritual person, but he, he backed away from it. Something politically happened in the church. Uh, let's get into the ads real quick. Shout out to our friends over at BetterHelp. Everybody knows that we are big fans of BetterHelp. This is what I want you guys to know about BetterHelp. Better help me. Uh, during COVID, obviously I couldn't go see a therapist. Somebody talked to me about BetterHelp. 
I actually ended up joining. So I was a BetterHelp user before they were even a sponsor of the show. So our friends over at BetterHelp, thank you guys so much for being with us. Uh, and for those of you who are looking for therapy um, that's more for, uh, more affordable than in-person therapy, and especially if it doesn't, it's not covered by your insurance, it could be a pain in the neck to really get into somebody's office. And a lot of offices are full of clients who are not taking new patients. BetterHelp is always taking new patients. The best thing about it, privacy, um, confidential, Everybody knows that's the biggest thing. Secure, uh, it's anonymous, and uh, health insurance uh, portability and accountability act um, is also a part of better health. So that's that's an amazing, amazing thing. Um, this is what I want you guys to understand. Uh, everybody knows I have panic disorder. Everybody knows I deal with. Uh, anxiety disorder, and I'm also bipolar. I'm very transparent about it. Um, but listen, sometimes in life we're faced with uh, tough choices and tough decisions. Sometimes we need an extra ear or somebody to talk to. And anybody out there listening that is looking for, you know, just to talk to somebody right now as soon as possible, better helps a great, um, a great solution because you can get matched with somebody in uh, 24 hours. I'm just speaking for myself. I'm not saying this is a guarantee, but I signed up for better help and I heard from somebody like six hours later. So they're really, really fast. They're really, really good. Um, I love better help. And this is what I can do for you. For those looking to start a therapy journey, go to betterhelp.com slash lops. That's betterhelp.com. B E T T E R H E L P.com slash lops L O P S and get 10% off your first month. Tell them Danny sent you and check it out. Everybody uh, needs a little help sometimes. And if you feel like you're looking for some help, it's a great place to start. Better help is fantastic. That dad, that, that'd be an interesting conversation to have with him. He he could probably break it down. And, and if I could say, well, where, he, where did he, you start to disconnect from church? Well, he had told me where he just saw people not living up to their fucking word, like their word of yeah, God yeah, shit. Because yeah, it's just shit. Cause it's like when when I was a kid, I would I didn't know that things were I didn't know I I didn't know people were being full of shit, but I just was weirded the fuck out. And then we went to so many different ones. It was the best when we were in the city and in the projects because they knew how to have fun and oh, the food the music, was amazing. The food was amazing. And the there's hot was Spanish girls. And I'm like, I want to fuck. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is fucking awesome. And then like, I that's the only reason I went because hot girls were like cute girls was the only reason I would ever go to church. Yeah. I didn't give a shit about Jesus. But I used to love going to like my friends' now churches I do, that of. were like Baptist and like Pentecostal churches where you'd go in there. Yeah. And it was just up. The yeah. energy was just up. Yeah, yeah. The band was fire. Yeah. The music somebody, is fucking good. Somebody was fucking singing their ass off. Yeah. They were, it was festive. You know what I mean? And it wasn't like, yeah yeah like, it was, and, it was, name, and you have like a different name at a fucking chris like what is it your fucking uh christening no your confirmation confirmation yeah yeah i remember some of like the the gospel music that we would listen to or that we would play in church growing up was just like it was bland it wasn't very soulful and and it was like, you know, Lord, you are more beautiful yeah. than diamonds. And everybody yeah. would be like this. Yeah, I'm everyone's like, doing this, yeah, yeah, which is I'm, not the worst. No, no, no like I'm not said. mad at that. But I'm yeah. just like, bro. And then I would go to a, another church, like, you know, black church or like Pentecostal or yeah. Baptist. Yeah. And you and and from the street, yeah, you could hear, oh, my Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah. Lord, yeah. Lord. Yeah. And then, and then it's a bunch of different voices. And it's like, and then even before you get in, even before you get in there, you're just like, and I'm like, what? This is fire. Even before you get in, you're just like, oh shit. And it's, you know, it's going to be a fucking amazing time. Dude, it was amazing. It's just better energy. Soul clapping. It's just better energy. Like, yeah. Just better energy. The, the, the band was better. It was And just the like, relationship with God isn't as weird. It wasn't forced. It wasn't militant. It was, it was right. extremely enjoyable. Cause let me, and, and to cause this let me day, I yeah. still... If I'm ever walking like because you know where where I you know where we're at now in Yonkers, you walk a few blocks, you get down to like the Baptist church and all of that stuff. It's going down, and their bands out there on Sundays and they're jamming. Yeah. Every now and then, I'll stop out outside and like feel that. Energy. Yeah, because it's there's dope. nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with being religious or having a relationship with God. It's just some places. 
Yeah. And I remember mom and dad just, you know, being a party. And these are probably the places that turned dad off to it too. Who knows? I, I don't really, I can't remember. Cause my, you know, you're, you're a kid. You I think it was just, it, I think it was hypocrisy. It's fucking weird. I think it was hypocritical stuff that was going on. And dad yeah, was like, you guys are bullshit. Those places were just so vanilla. You it was like, you want to sell to it? It was like, uh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, it was like, uh, it was like, um, I don't know. It was just weird because it was just like I'm trying to think of an analogy like cat like really really Catholic shit is like a pizza without any sauce or cheese, and then where we went was just sauce, and then finally we would probably go to another one we were comfortable like Bible study was like the cheese, and then if we went to any of the churches in the Bronx or we went to a gospel place which is just so much better that was like fucking that was like a meat lover slice there was just all all fucking all different ingredients were on that bitch and it tasted so and it's it has and, sabor, it has and, flavor. If, and i and if i go back to church because i'm not opposed to it like i'm still in a way a god-fearing man as well but like if i go back to that i'm going to fucking gospel i'm not going to a, like a because you want to know another thing we also went to a church in jersey that was like fucking methodist like they were like fucking racist that's why my friend oh, really? well my mom told me that our friend that went there his dad was a preacher and he was half asian mm -hmm. and they were fine with him but like they were like you could tell it was all fucking dude it was all white people in that church and it wasn't even because of the area i don't think but mom will mom is the one that brought it up she was like yeah they were weird they just were like it was like racial steering but for jesus really yeah because that's a fucking thing 100%. yeah 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 that fucking that white jesus or, or you're just not, you can't relate. And it's not even really because, Irish and some Jesus. places probably don't even know that they're being like that. They just don't, they don't go out of their way to be like, oh, you're black, come to my church. Or When's you're Hispanic, come to my church. church. When the, when oh, my God, fucking. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'll bring up this moment. So I was, I really liked this one girl. This was like 2000 and, it's like 2011, 2012, mm -hmm. maybe. I like maybe yeah so like 11 years ago I really liked this girl I was fucking like falling in love with this girl and she liked me too and we were we were you know we were doing the f we were fucking fuck, fuck. <laughs> we were definitely doing stuff but she was not I mean I learned later on she just wasn't into me which is um you're lost bitch uh I'm just kidding stupid gal <laughs> stupid goddamn idiot no, 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 no. Um, but I was, but I was, I was a young kid then. I mean, I wasn't a kid, but I felt like I mean, eleven years ago. So I'm fucking twenty five. Yeah, and twenty five. You know, halfway into twenties, like I, I really just wanted to find somebody that I could be with because I hadn't had like a serious girlfriend since high school, right. and I thought she was gonna be it because I stayed at her house every night and I was and I met her parents. And uh, I met her mom. Her dad was a consultant. He was always doing these things, and he was busy. But I get to the house, and she's like, you're going to meet my dad today. And, and that's what made me think that I was, like, going to get into a relationship with this girl. But it just turns out she was just fucking bored, I guess. But So I go over, and I meet him, and he shakes my hand. And he's just – he's not really – he's not, like, intense. He's a really chill guy. Yeah. But then he just goes, like, right, so what's your relationship with the Lord? And I was just like, bro, do I fucking have to have one? Also, she left, and I'm like, why'd you leave me with this fucking creep? <laughs> and so he's sitting, dude, on a chair like that. No, yeah. I'm sitting on a chair like that, and you're sitting where he is, right? And I'm the dog. And he just goes over, and he goes like, well, yeah, but like, what's your relationship with God? I'm like, I don't fucking have one. And I was like, I, my dad used to be, and then I was like, oh, I shouldn't really say that, though, because I want to fuck her continuously. Right. I also want to like don't want to. I also don't want to come to. Also, we were coming to the house. I love, I love Jesus, dude. She lives in the house. Like they were so weird. They were so. They were like so about Jesus, but like I could fuck her in her room at night. Like they didn't hear it because they would be asleep. They were like that kind they of. They would let you stay over. Yeah, I don't fucking understand. Yeah, that's. And that's he was like, "Watch." So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, "This guy asked me what my relationship is with God before he asked what it is with his daughter." Yeah, but like that's what about fucking my relationship weird. With your daughter's private. But I really wanted to date her and she was like you should come with us one time to like a, a group thing okay and i was like oh my and fucking you, god i knew it was gonna be weird so i yeah. just like brought a knife but like i fucking <laughs> we went to the bronx no we went to uh the city somewhere and it was all these people sitting down already like they were all just ready to go and we got there and they were like 
oh my god yes hello oh, hello 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 oh it's so good to see you again yeah. uh greg i'll just say his name is okay. and they're like this is michael this is my daughter's friend and they're like Michael, Michael, so good to meet you. So good to be. Please have a seat. Just have a seat with us. Yeah, like like that. That soft and 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 welcoming, but like hi. So we're ready to start. We're starting now. And like just like sitting down. We're all talking, and they like get you involved. You know, in, in their shit. And it's very Catholic because okay. they're like reading shit that I never even heard of like before, and like okay. saying certain things. And then they got me involved because they're like your my grandma was kind of like sick at the time. Mm. Da dad's mom. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they got me talking about her and shit. And, and, it, and it felt good. I felt yeah. like I was in a fucking AA meeting. It was like therapy. Yeah, because yeah. we were all in a circle. <laughs> right. But then they got up and they were like, join us. In like, we were allowed to go smoke cigarettes and everything. Me and his daughter, like, they were like, yeah, go have a cigarette. That's fine. Yeah. And so then we came back like, down. So it wasn't too weird. But yeah. then they were like, we're going to join prayer. Like, join us. And I was just like, all right, yeah, whatever. And I've always felt weird about just joining people. Like, I can't keep a stick. Like, whenever I close my eyes, I'm like, these people are fucking weird. Like, while they're doing it. But they it's got up and they, and, yeah. And her dad got up and her dad was like, oh, and I was like, oh my God. Dude. Yeah, I can't do the yeah. tongue shit, bro. I know it's their way of getting into it, but he sounded like like Tarzan, like I never flying understood. through the trees. I never. <laughs> Because his voice got so weird. His voice got really high. He was like, ah, oh, shut up. Oh, you gotta give it to me. And I was just like, what the fuck? And I tried not, I, dude, I was trying, trying so hard not, not to laugh. laugh. <laughs> so I had to be like, so in order to not laugh, I had to be like, yeah, thank you, God. Like, yes. Like, yeah. fucking put my head down. But I'm like, fucking like, oh, my God, I'm never going to. I can't it's, date this girl. Yeah, There's no way. Yeah, I can't live up to this. But she probably hated it, too. She didn't hate it. She just did. She wanted to make her dad happy, so she didn't care. Yeah, so that she, was her. She thing. wanted approval, right? Otherwise, she wouldn't have been smoking cigarettes listen, during I, break. Listen, I'll say this: there, some of the greatest moments in my life of spiritual connection have happened in church, right? Like, it's, yeah, there's, there's no yeah. doubt. There's no doubt that there is, hands down. Thank uh, you, brother. Yeah, if you if you can go and experience it and feel that spiritual connection to something, choose a place that's good for you to do that. It doesn't have to be somewhere where they're singing and dancing. Doesn't have to be somewhere where there's shit hanging from the ceiling that you have to pray towards and know this one and that one. Sometimes it's just a place to go and worship. But I I know for a fact that there are ups and downs to it. You know, like there's some creepy shit about religion that just makes my skin crawl. And then there are some things where I'm like, it does help. It does help people stay connected. It does help preserve family. Like going to church every Sunday, it was something I looked forward to when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, and I don't. Every Sunday now, it's like, now I'm just off from work. This is my church. <laughs> like, what we're doing right now is my church. Yeah. It being, I'm not a huge, I'm a, I, I like watching football, well, but I don't are, live for it. We are apples that have fallen far from the tree. Yeah, but but really, from have Adam we though? Adam and Eve. Have we though? Because we're both God-fearing people. You pray every now and then, I'm sure. I do. I definitely, you know I mean? like, like there, there's definitely still... times where I'm just like, why are you doing this to me, bro? And then I'll yeah. be like, I didn't mean that. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Because it hurt me. Yeah, sir. There's been times where I'm like, "Fuck you!" And I'm like, "Wait, oh, wait. I'm sorry, I looked up." Oh, like, dude. do you think he saw me? <laughs> I've got, I've gotten into, I've gotten into one way shouting matches with God plenty of times, you know. But most of the time, I think it's well because we're looking for somebody to blame, but they're yeah. really, it's not. The way I look at it is, if that's real and all of that is a real thing, it's not about blaming him or anything else it's just what is and it's just what life is i mean yeah. we're all here and we're dealing with whatever these sequences that we're all fucking dealing with and we just think about being a human and think about is that like think about those chances we're both humans like we could have been that fucking thing yeah you know what i mean but his life's pretty good his life is good but he, he doesn't know it or think about it no and he's just living but he has anxieties the same and all that stuff. And Probably. You know he's I mean? like, yeah. No, they definitely the do. They get, they get anxieties about just different shit. That's yeah. all. They get anxieties about, like, you know, fucking, like, uh, you know, not being able to fucking have their bone in their mouth for more than right. 12 minutes or something. Oh, some dude, shit. fucking. So I bought a surveillance camera for the house. You see the little astronaut that's over there on the thing? Yeah, I was looking right. at that. I thought you were like, at first I was going to fucking, I was like, are you filming me right now? Yeah, I am filming you right now. And I'll show you the angle. So. The reason I got got it, why did I turn it yeah, to fucking, why did you turn Mark, to fucking Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg? Oh, so you're a fucking donkey. Yeah. What's up, donkey? We were doing we were doing him yeah, last episode. Stay yeah, prayed up. Yeah. yeah, stay prayed up. Welcome so, to the lair. So welcome to the welcome so to the a, prayer lair, my friend. So I bought a fucking house camera, right? And I want people to see who the fuck's taking shits, you know? So so this is us right now. And I bought it and it was to fucking keep an eye out. Oh, it's moving. That's yeah. fucking weird. It's crazy, right? How much was this thing? 
Dude, fucking 25 bucks. What the fuck? And I've got two of them. I That's got a enough. great quality, too. Right? Look at it. Yeah, it's on. Nice little delay. Nice little delay. So someone keeps shitting in that corner. One of the dogs keeps shitting in that corner. Oh, you want to know now. So I want to know now. So the first day I hook it up, I'm like, all right, I'm going to figure out who it is. I have a feeling it's Cash. Not because not because he's, you know, just because. I, I, I know well, he's him. a little anxious bitch, and he he's keeps fucking peeing. He just peed. Dude, he, he, he like, jumped all, up on the couch and like, squirted on my hand. Yeah, no, he doesn't mean it, but he but he's he's an asshole. Anyhow, so yesterday at 3.58, I said, it sends, the, the camera sends me a notification that something's going on. So I'm like, all right, let's see what's going on. I, I fucking tune in, and it skips from 3.58 to 4.07. And at 3.58, there's no shit. But at 4.07, there is shit. And I'm like, this camera just stopped recording for the time exactly that it was. Yeah, that or, your dog dog is a fucking, is your, or your dog is like like a fucking, or your dog is like the Jason top French thief and all of, like a top French jewel thief. <laughs> it's like Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yeah, he just like, or your dog fucking t turned it off and then took a huge shit and then turned it back on. So now I got to fucking, now now I got to. Bro, know. your dog's covering its tracks. It's fucking crazy. Yo, how did he know? Dude, it goes black. It just goes black for like eight minutes. And I know it didn't take him eight minutes to shit. It only took him a few minutes. But he was probably like, he's so fucking lucky that surveillance I cameras scare me because it's like you're yeah. not there. Yeah, because you're like, well, that one especially, it's like moving and shit. Can you yeah. talk through it? Yeah. Oh, so you should be like, was that yeah. your plan? Like when he does it, you yeah. just like stop it. Hey mother. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Crazy. That's man. really really weird. Yeah. So like, Is I he still doing it. Yeah. Turn that shit off. Um. So like. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. But like it's that's and then you and then it come it comes to you and then there's a huge shit yeah and then there's shit and how many it, minutes was it off or how it was many? off for like eight minutes that's why did he decide to do it right then and there dude it did, I don't know it was like this fucking yeah I'm talking about you you fucker. it's like a fucking shit spirit so took cute, over dude. a shit so, spirit took over he's so fucking cute though look at him look at that face yeah I don't know why you Stop have fucking I don't know why you have fucking two dogs though. I, Shout out I, to people who just have a lot of animals. You guys are out of your fucking minds. Yeah, I bought. I I bought. I got I another do dog. I, I I brought another dog into into my life because my dog needed a companion. It's like we, why people have other kids. Yeah, I but also bad, you know? yeah, yeah, but also eight, fuck ten that. Hours a day. Yeah, but also fuck all that. Now they just keep each other. That's just like, more shitting. That's more fucking. You got to walk more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it, but the love you get when you get home, bro. I want my responsibilities. I don't want other things fucking responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah. how I'm li like. Everyone's like, someone's like, you just don't want responsibilities. I'm like, why the fuck would I add responsibilities for things that I don't need? Yeah. What's your biggest responsibility right now in life? Rent? Just fucking my rent, fucking taking care of my body, taking care of myself now. And uh, and I want it to be a house one day. Like That's the one responsibility I'm, I'm, I'm ready for. Dude, you could buy a house right fucking now. Yeah, but I'm like I'm waiting because I'm gonna buy a house. I'm gonna buy like a multifamily with like one of my best friends. Oh, okay. Like we have like a plan. Well, not a plan, but gotcha. we, we're going to have a plan. We have a plan. So that's There's a plan. I mean, but I want. But getting a house right now fucking sucks, though. Interest rates are crazy. Yeah, but I, I mean, when are they ever gonna be forgiving? The thing is, Never. is that it's whatever gonna keep you, going up. Pay, it's not gonna go down. Whatever you pay in rent right now, you come up with you know thirty, forty grand. Yeah, people could, say that shit, but it's mean? not that easy. I'm gonna, if anything, I'd wind up getting like a loan or something like your, that. Your credit, like that, I can probably, I, I could probably have good. unprotected sex with. Well, now it's, now it's good. No, it was not. It, I had to fucking I, two uh, for a year and some change have now had like better. I paid my debt off. I owed fucking. I was like ten thousand dollars in debt. Yeah, that's not terrible though. So yeah, but uh, I was twenty five thousand dollars in debt at one point. Yeah, I mean that's that's bad. Now, yeah. Now, now I'm in. But debt is fucking debt. Debt's fucking debt. It sucks cock. Yeah, no one it wants to be in it. Also, I was ten thousand dollars in debt with nine hundred dollars in my name. Yeah, that's not good. So I got lucky to do what I to do what I do and still get out of it. But like, yeah, fucking hopefully a house a house is the future. And then like have a fucking and then how have, have people come stay over whenever they want house yeah. parties. Are you gonna be in New fucking, York? You have fucking, are you gonna move? Have sex with hard tits uh. with her mish. Um, Ew. Am I gonna move out of New York? 
I don't know. I want to move out of New York for like two years and then come back. I want to just like say that I did that too. Would you like, wh- wh- where would you, where would you end up? Where, what state would you go like nice climate, somewhere warm? Or? Yeah, probably like, um, I don't know, probably like Austin, Texas or something. I have yeah, you've mentioned there. Texas before. Well, I have a lot of friends there and I have a lot of friends that do the same thing for work and it's streaming and everything. It's the devil's dick down there. Though, yeah, but I don't, fucking, Texas? I don't fucking care. No, I don't it's care so about hot. heat I can fucking handle. I, if it's my decision, I just like deal with it. Yeah. I just go, yeah, this sucks, but this is my decision. Like, I'm, not, I'm, I'll complain about it when I'm here. I'm like, this fucking sucks. We should all move back to Florida. But I do, do that too. No, I don't want to fucking live in Florida. I don't have any. There's, I mean, I'll go visit Florida for sure. Yeah. But I don't give a fuck about living in Florida. There's nothing there unless it's like a magical, like Jersey, sh- like a short, like a like where we were. Like if it's an ocean house and all that, and then yeah. oh, you whatever, can get that and for even sure, then, dude. you go up up fucking uh fort lauderdale and yeah shit but what's like what's everything yeah but my thing is is like what's with the new yorkers why, why does everyone go to florida i don't understand it because it's because it's on the east coast because and it, it, because it's on the east coast and you still get tropical climate it's affordable oh it's not as affordable as it people from the was. city love moving to florida it's because so weird. because it's convenient because it's uh, honestly it, i think i think up until recently it was just an affordable quick trip yeah where you know you got to fly five five or six hours to get to fucking uh, California, and it's more expensive, and and it's I don't know, it's natural disasters. Like, Miami, I mean, Florida, Miami's so colorful, so colorful. There's so much neon everywhere. I know, yeah, but it depends on where you're at in Miami, bro. Like you would like Fort Lauderdale. Well, that's not a reason I don't want to go there. I'm just saying you're it's just so saying, fucking. Oh, it's, it's so like yeah. orange and gr- like orange with green. Like what was, are you guys doing over there? I was talking about it last night. Yeah, well, it's it's just a tropical place. I was talking about it last night with one of my tables at work. The, they were from Miami. It was uh, uh, it was two couples, and the woman was at one of the one of the woman at, women at the table. She was asking me, she's like, "Where are you from?" I said, "I'm I'm, I'm from I'm born and raised in New York. Uh, my parents are Puerto Rican, Italian." She's like, "Oh, I'm Cuban." I'm like, "Oh, are you from Miami?" She goes, "As a matter of fact, I am. I just moved here like three months ago. Me and my husband just moved here." I said, I used to live in Miami. And we started to talk about like places and, and shit. She's younger than me, but we started to talk about it. And I, I asked her, I said, do you miss it? And she was like, yo, I do. She goes, because New York is so dirty. Yeah, <laughs> she was no, like, New, York's, so, New York sucks. It's so dirty. New York sucks it's too. It's so, like Miami is so clean. And granted, the, everything else about the character of New York, it, for me, it, it definitely wins. It keeps me won over, you know, by, by New York. But it's like... Miami's so clean and easygoing, and like the weather's just fucking fantastic, and girls are just riding around in thongs and bikinis all the time. It's fun. It's it's a fun place to live, and and if I had, could have gotten my the, the my kids to come down and be closer to me down there, I probably would have stayed. I think I would have left the industry I was working in and gone into something else, but I would have stayed. It's just a comfortable life down there. You know? Yeah, I just don't need any of that shit. Like people are like, "Yeah, I fucking go out. Let's get fucked." Like fucking. No, you all don't that. have to though. You I just like to. I just fucking live. Yeah, but I, w- I don't want to do that in Florida though. That's the thing. Like I yeah. don't I don't care about Florida. Like I'm gonna be like a lake house guy. I'm gonna be like yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be like a Stephen King weirdo. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a, only instead of writing, yeah. I'm just gonna be like writing on my dick every day. Being- Mike Sass bought a house up in Saugerties. He said he he goes up there and fucking hides out from the world and shit yeah it's not even it's not it wouldn't even be hiding either it's just like i just want as i get older i just want fucking peace i don't want like fucking a lot of crazy stuff but before i get to that age i want a mixture of fun and a little quiet like and Austin has that. Austin's very, very fucking. Yeah, Austin's from what a cool I can, town. From everyone, and the only reason I know so much about it is because all my friends live there. Yeah, and I have and a lot of my other friends that I know, and they tell me about shit all the time. It's a big just town, like, big town yeah. for content creators, right? Uh, Not the even just that. It's just comedy's better there. Yeah, everything's there. Everything is just better there. It's just like, uh, and you know, it's also big drug. Like a lot of people are like drug experimenting there. A lot of younger people are moving there too as well. But like uh, Florida, I definitely want to visit because you never know. I might even go there and be like, you know what? This is actually kind of fucking yeah. fire. But as of now, I'm like, when I go down in December, you if should come I should with do me. that. Yeah, when maybe. Clo- yeah, maybe. I when I go to will, close yeah. my lease, we'll go for like three or four days. Yeah. You want to do that? If, if you're up to it. I don't know. I got to go. I got to fucking say yes or no. No, no, no. But I'm just saying. But podcast, like, but if you, yeah, I know. I won't. I won't. Even if you said, yeah, and then later on cancel it. Up. But I got to go down in December to close out my fucking apartment there. Maybe you come with me. Come hang out. Yeah, I mean, Florida, Florida, like 
Florida, yeah, I mean, maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking yeah, know. I'm not, I'm not, I don't tell people yes and then just not. I, I I you guys know that. how I am. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I never say yes or no. Uh, but you know, we'll make plans off, off a podcast. <laughs> but I, I, uh, I try to get you in there. I try to. I was like, yo, you see, I tied him in. Danny's done it before too, and I'm like, why are we making plans yeah. while we're Listen, doing a podcast? I know, like, maybe. I, I don't know. Text, I th- text I th- me, and f- that's like three months from now. I feel like I know better than anybody that when Mike says yes to something, there's a good chance he goes back on that. You know what I mean? Well, because I have to go to. Jo- I don't have to, but I want to go to Ch- Georgia eventually to fucking uh, CT Pain. I want to go to I want to go to Atlanta to see T Pain, and then I want to do that little journey because that's right at, they're cl- they're right Atlanta's next to each other. A cool state for you too, I think. That's why I want to yeah. go to Atlanta to check out Atlanta too. And people are telling me my, the one thing that's, that's funny about moving and dogs and everything. Like whenever you want a dog, there's always that person that's like, "Oh no, Husky's kind of you know." And you're like, "Dude, why are you fucking?" I set up what I want to look at, and I'm gonna look at it. Yeah. Are you sure you can handle that? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And if that's what I want to go for, I'll probably go for that. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, that's what I have to deal with afterwards. I'm not getting a dog to find all the negative. Like, I get why people tell you things, but I'm not the kind of person that would get a dog and then just have the dog chilling there and and act like the dog doesn't exist anymore. Right. And now moving wise, people are just like, yeah, but are you sure? Because like this, I'm like, bro, there's not anywhere on this planet that's just (coughs) absolutely perfect. And if there is... That place is probably expensive as shit, or it's the middle of nowhere where no one fucking really knows or something. So it's like, I, here's where I have to be realistic. I have to visit these places first and if, then see if I want to live if there. If you could go on vacation anywhere right now, where would you go? I want Well, that's uh, extreme, though. I want to go to, like, Tokyo. I want to go to Japan. That's not extreme. Why is that extreme? Because it's fucking 18-hour ride, I know, plane ride, yeah, and I crazy. hate planes. Yeah. But I also want to go there because there's things that are like the mecca to me there. I'm a fucking nerd, so it's yeah. like nerdy video games and stuff yeah. like that. But yeah. but if you, all you guys go to Florida, right? Let's say like here's where I have to also be realistic. If you guys all go to fucking Florida to just grow old and be fucking Hispanic Floridians, <laughs> then I'm going to be like, I want to be with my brothers. Yeah. Like that's that's the thing. Like when you and Danny ever ask me and I'm and it seems like I'm like, nah. It's net. I, whenever I say it, I always feel like because because of how my how I sound with my tone, I feel like people always think I'm like fucking pissed. But I just say I just say no so sternly because I know if I say it like that, people will be like, all right, all right, I'm done asking. I'm sorry. Yeah. But in my mind, in my mind, I'm really like, you know what? I know deep down, I'm gonna want to be with my family and my brothers. When yeah, I be get, close to people. Yeah. No one wants to fucking be super duper duper alone. Yeah. But that's why I've lived comfortably by myself at my house because I know you guys are close. I know I can be like. I know if it gets to that point, I can be like, what's up? Or when I start pushing myself, like I was telling you, like from not drinking, uh, it's just been so nice getting my social confidence confidence back. And that's oh, been yeah. like my first step. And then once I have that, now then I'm the like, other things open. Yeah. yeah. Because here's an, here's whenever I talk about this, I feel like it's almost like a, Oh, woe is Michael thing, which it's not that it's just, this is all this is all I'm trying to get back who who I lost as like a person and I did lose a part of me like I lost I have a lot of me still yeah. but I got it back from not drinking and I lost a lot of me from streaming and staying home and doing that schedule and stuff but the thing is it's like I love that schedule I'm happy with it Yeah So it's like why and should I free. change that It's for free me? You're It's your free own boss. I'm, yeah. I'm my own boss and I make and I'm I've been doing this like for ten years now on the internet, not yeah, on, not on Twitch. Money. You're, you're, I've been I've been fine. I've saved the most I've ever could save in my life, and I I'm a survivor. You are our whole family's like that. Yeah. We're fucking you hardcore nasty little boy survivors. Yeah. Ka- Kathy, everyone is. We're all yeah. still you know knock on wood. I hope I can. I hope God lets me or whoever lets me uh, lets me fucking live for a really long time. That's what my I want to. That's why like once I get my insurance back, I want to just. Back in the day, I'd be like, Dad, I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'm not getting this. Yeah. Now I want to because it's like I have to. I want to make sure I can yourself. prolong my shit. Yeah. But I have these goals where I'm like, damn, do I do I want to end up with my brothers though later on? And the, and the answer is like a hundred times, like yeah, like I want to be with you. Yeah, guys, you I know? think I was I was talking to Ben about it the other day. We went and had uh, we went and had uh, like kind of midday early dinner together. Um, and I and I've gotten to a place in my life where it's like the positive energy that I need in socializing, I'm getting from being around like you and Danny, dad, my guy friends, all this other stuff. Because normally I'd be so caught up in like a relationship and yeah. like playing house with somebody. Yeah. 
that the freedom of being just a dude with your boys is is fucking amazing. And so and a lot of my friends are married in long term, you know, yeah, long term same. relationships. Yeah. They've got Babies. kids, you know, kids, whatever. Like, and they're still chill to be around, but it's like you, you know, Danny's married now too. You know what I mean? Yep. And but he'll have his kid eventually. And he'll have his kid eventually too. But I, you know, I think right now I'm like, I'm kind of feeling like you where it's like, I don't feel pressure to do anything except continue to get my money. Right. Yeah. Spend time precisely with the people that I want to spend time with, not bullshit and be like, oh, let me spend time. If I don't want to fucking do it, I'm not doing it. I don't. Yeah. Wanna, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to. That's not gonna, why I'm glad you exist in the family, too, because I feel like you and me are both just like lonely fucking losers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, at, at the, but the thing is, is that. It, it, I understand what you're saying, but I don't really feel that way about no, the way no, that I'm, you. No, no, I'm teasing. The I'm way teasing, that yeah. you do it or I do it, I yeah, think. I yeah. think there are times where, where you know, if you weren't functional, if you weren't taking care of the shit you have to take care of, paying your own bills, uh, doing good work for people, reaching out to people. I was on yeah. one of your streams recently where we were all talking about like mental, mental health, health shit. Yeah, that was cool. And I've had people DM cool. me since then, like, yo, man, cool I know you don't know me, but I was in your brother's fucking thread the other night uh, on Twitch, and you were saying you were dropping some jewels for us. I was yeah. like, dude, hit well, me up whenever you want. Like, that work, I don't give a fuck if you ever get married to have kids. Like, it would be great, but that's just me I being just, like, I'd rather I live vicariously little... through Danny and shit. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, I live happy knowing other people are happy. Yeah, dude. And, and that's always been a little bit of my problem, Bro, too. Like, you're I happy, worry about making other people happy before myself. If you're happy, yeah, I'm happy. If you're happy with what's going on in that's your fucking thing. life right the only, now, and I'm, the, I'm fucking that's happy. That's the thing. Like I'm fucking, I'm fucking happy as balls. Good. I just fucking, um, I just hate living with my heart stuff, the the pal stuff. That's it. That's the only thing that worries yeah. me. Other than that, stopping drinking was the best thing to happen for me to get my character, my my own uh, self confidence back, and that and my character, and sense of self. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like I'm like that's like I'm dude. I I've only known I've only known, and you're the same way. I've only known an altered conscience of mind since I've been fucking sixteen years old. Yeah, I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to live. It's like when a fucking guy plays fucking football his whole life and then he's got to sit home all day with his fucking uh, annoying yeah. ass kids and he wants to fucking kill himself. <laughs> and, and it's like, it's the truth though. Those yeah. guys, they don't know what to do with their lives. They fucking... They, because they their get, whole life has been that. Their, their whole life's been that and it's scary. Or they go back, they got to do analysts and they got to tell their wives or their husbands or whoever the fuck they're, they're into. Like, they yeah. got to be like, they got to be like, Dude, like I can't be here. I'm gonna go crazy. I can't. Well, that's why a lot of them go into coaching and and, and right. uh, you know, um, uh, commentating stuff like that. They try to stay yeah. connected. Now let's add a substance to it. Yeah, would which you is say way worse addiction than doing something the same thing for the rest of your fucking life? Would you, your would, mind's conditioned to be used to that? So now this is the first time. And honestly, it's a lot easier than I thought. I'm stressed out, but I'm a fucking. Our whole that's why I said before, like well, our whole family is survivors then. though. Yeah, you were stressed out then too though. Yeah, right? way more. Yeah, because alcohol fucking rage. Well, you could is, drink alcohol yeah. rage sucks. Would you say would you uh, like on some serious shit, would you say that you were an alcoholic? Yeah. Yeah. Like I would say I functional. was a very functional alcoholic. Really? But um I'm scared of things very easily. Mm -hmm. So like once I'm scared, I'm like, yeah, I'm good on that. Like I'm never gonna go back to drinking how I was drinking because I don't want to fucking yeah. die so fucking goddamn. This early. this this could turn out to be one of your greatest achievements ever. It already feels like it is. That's great. I just feel better. I just amazing, feel man. fucking better. And yeah. the you fact look that I can the yeah, I think you look I, better. I think the way I'm talking to people, people notice yeah. it. Yep. I, I, I look like shit right now, though. No, yeah, but that. but that's just Taliban. You let it grow yeah, out because yeah. you want to you want to line it up. But that's one hundred percent what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. No, you I feel wolf. like someone's. I feel like a hairy pussy right no, now. No, you look good though. I like I like it like that. It looks good. It's messy, but it's like I know where you're going with it. Yeah, because you're, you're, you're letting you've it, been there. Of course, you got to go through the busted <laughs> stage. Yeah, you got to go through busted to be a fucking beautiful little yeah, duckling. It's, yeah, it's a, <laughs> you got to go through the duckling to become the swan. Because it looks fucking, yeah. and I know how it looks, and I know I'm gonna like. I, oh, you gotta I, look like a million bucks. Well, I like to—I like to like when I shape everything up. I pay attention to just that part and keep my face close to the mirror, so mm. I could like go down and then go up slowly and go damn, <laughs> damn. And then look my the fucking gym. yeah, then my head's bald, <laughs> and then like it's nicely. And yeah. I've gotten so this is like why anxiety is crazy, like and like just borderline agoraphobia. I like was just I'm gonna teach myself to line my sh own shit up yeah. where I got like decent at it. Well, you probably got that from me too because yeah, I, I, I used to see you do. I used to do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. 
And I was just your, like, I'm gonna what, stay home and just shave my ass myself. What's your kit like? What do you have? You because I put you onto the straight razor, right? You started. I don't using even that. use anything cool. I've never wanted to spend money. It's so funny. I only spend money on things like food and things I I really 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 want. Like I'll live with the bare minimum for everything else. Yeah. I'm. Well, I've shit, always been. I've always been like. Yeah. I don't need because like don't don't spend your money. Don't live a way that don't like. Don't live expensively if you can, if you're not a fucking it's money, not a money earner like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I remember when I went to your birthday to Carbone and Ben was there and Ben was like, "Yo, I fucking like that watch." And I'm like, "Thanks." And he's like, "Where'd you get it?" And I was like, "On on, on the fucking little useless item aisle when you go to buy <laughs> like when you when you're waiting room. online at Burlington Code Factory." <laughs> you know how it's always yeah, like yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. like fucking uh, pineapple cotton candy and weird shit like that yeah, yeah, yeah. and fucking like little baby items yeah, and it's like, like it's like an air vent yeah, phone yeah, holder air vent, yeah, yeah and like a Chinese phone USB belt. hold uh, plug in that has like three different USBs and you're like oh I could use this for my car and then it breaks in three days yeah all those items I saw this like watch and it, I knew I could just make my outfit look like sexy because I, I remember watching some guy who was like you don't need to spend this much to be this you sexy. Don't. You don't. And uh, I remember wearing it. Ben's like, yo, I love that watch. I'm like, bro, I got this for $3 and it doesn't even work. I bought it and it didn't work when I bought it. <laughs> that's how <laughs> shitty the watch is. Yeah. But it looks great though. Yeah. So, See, you know, I, that's yeah. how I live. Like, I'm just a fucking, I, you could still make life cool and you not have to spend thousands, I, and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Is, this is true. I think, there, true. I think there are certain things that you're going to have to spend that type of money on. Mm -hmm. I think a house is one, a car is one. Uh, vacations might be part of that, yeah. you know, like if you're into a certain fucking craft or like, look, man, like look at all my fucking equipment of guitar shit. I'm looking at, I was looking at it today. I was cleaning all this shit. I was like, dude, I have probably $10,000 worth of equipment. Yeah. Right? And if you ever need to sell this shit, tell me we could use dude, my eBay account. Dude, I could fucking sell this shit. You know, like the thing is, is that I like having these things because they make me happy, but it's not yeah. expensive. It's not, yeah. it's not that I go and spend that much money at once. I accumulate this shit over the years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you see that fucking Mustang amp that I have in the back? You know how long I've had that that Fender amp that's in the back? I've had that amp for fucking, for probably eight ten years. Eight, almost 10 years. Yeah. This guitar, this blue Strat right here, the one that's behind you, the blue Stratocaster. Six, 15. Bro, 15. You know who gave me that? Rocky. Rocky, Rocky yeah. gave no, me that. No, I remember that's, you were telling the, me, yeah. The, the, for, for those who don't know, the, the wake that I just went to, was a very dear friend of mine. My ex girlfriend passed away. She was thirty six years old. Yeah, and, and 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 I'm gonna bring this up just because we're talking about taking care of ourselves. I don't know the details of her life, but I know I know that that it fucking like it, it's not promised. And when you when you don't take things seriously about your health, yeah, and you keep pouring booze and fucking drugs on it, you're not taking care of yourself. It it will it will get you, bro. It will come and get you. But that guitar was the first Stratocaster I've ever owned was gifted by her. Yeah. Um, and now it means even more to me. And it's always meant a lot to me. I've played that guitar m more than I've played any other instrument with that your, I own. With your penis? With my penis. That, that instrument? Yeah, with my, with my little dick. But, with you know, it little, works. My little dick pick. We say... My little pick dick. We pick say dick. all the time, it's like, uh, if you have something to i think i sent it to you too i was like if you have something to do you have something to love and you have somebody to love like those are like the three important that's things. the things you it need. keeps yeah. your mind busy it keeps your mind hoping for something and yeah. it keeps your mind um i think relaxed right or just uh safe to yeah. have somebody who's yeah. gonna like close to your family but only you can fuck them <laughs> yeah well right because you want well, someone that's going to be like unconditionally yeah. loving you for you and but, not judge certain things and you don't really have to everyone would right. love someone you don't tweak that much you know because I've, I've 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 always wanted to change but i don't want to be like hey what's up gumshoe yeah. like i don't want to be like what's up buddy guy yeah, yeah. i don't want to be like that well, i still want to be me yeah. but change other things i've never wanted to be like hey, what a fabulous day yeah because that's not what that's my not brain are, is yeah. it's not because i even can't it's just that's not who i am so i've never wanted to, like when i change i don't want to fully right. fucking make i just want to be me still but just be happier and still be the same fucking like mike with the personality yeah. and all that stuff well Doesn't i think yeah like, i think that's important i think that <clears throat> it's extremely important to meet somebody if we're talking about that that kind of interaction or relationship 
it's important to meet somebody that compliments your life uh, and, yeah. and doesn't change it and is completely okay with who you are. And if there are things that you need to change about yourself, if that person but, ever suggests that, you're going to know they're, they're, it's coming from a good place. Yeah. So they're like, look, you want to cuss? Then cuss. Just figure out a way to not do it around my parents, right? Yeah, yeah. You want, you, you want to drink? Mm -hmm. Then drink. Figure out a way to not do it excessively. Yeah. You know, you're going to work? Then work. And figure out a way to not become a slave to it because I still want to spend time with you too. You don't have those obligations. My downtime is I have to find a way to make downtime for myself, right? For my children, for you guys, and for my family. Right currently, I don't have to do that for a girlfriend because besides your children, your girlfriend and your job are going to take the most of your life. Yep. You know what I mean? Like yep. the time that you spend down. I'm perfectly okay with not having to spend that time with anybody. Chooch comes over. We hang out. We play fucking video games. We watch a movie. We eat pizza together. Teenager hangs out in their room, minds their fucking business, yeah. doesn't bother do me about shit. Do the, things that, you know? do the things that you can afford to and that are realistic yeah. to do. That do the, do the things that are uh like do the th like you don't have to do anything that you don't really need to do right this is there are some people true. who live to like we got to go on a boat right yeah someday. Oh, yo, and if yo, you don't care about it and they don't care about bro, it you don't have to fucking do that i just came from the capital of that i mean i think the world period is in a place right now where everything is impulsively wanting to do more but i but i'll tell you this if you make enough money to splurge and go nuts then go nuts right do something good with it to donate it be, be charitable with your shit do the right thing right but the truth of the matter is, bro, is that there is so much shit in your life that you're thinking you need and you and you ultimately realize you don't, but there are certain things that are absolutely necessary, right? And so many people look at that in different ways. But if you're a, a, a dude that doesn't have kids, your necessities are completely different than mine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. completely different than mine. Mm -hmm. And you still kind of manage your life and function in a way as a stay at home, not even a stay at home, but like a married dude, like you're very, you're very domesticated, you know, yeah, in the way yeah. that you move. And you're there's, not, and there's not much different from what you guys see from me that I am when I'm home. No, like I don't exactly, go, yeah, I don't go yeah, home and like fuck a plastic <clears throat> doll or anything. Right, right. right you know? no. <laughs> like I'm the same, I'm the same fucking. Yeah. Like that that's what I take pride in too. Like everyone's gonna get a piece of who I am. <clears throat> like I don't mind being like Danny's like that. We're all like that yeah. with our honesty. Like I'll be like, yeah, I jerked off like three times a day. Right. You know what I mean? And I'll even say what the fuck the porn was if I have to. Like right. I, I like being like that open person. Like I like knowing what makes me happy. And then I'll tell people what that is so people will know, oh, you know, Mike's at home doing those things. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why when I am home and I'm like that, I'm good. I got my games or whatever. But there are there. You know what? This is real. This is actually fucking real too. Because sometimes I'm at fucking home and I'm not doing shit, and th like this thing is the fucking devil. So this has been the newest addiction. It never oh, used to really be as bad as it was, or I'm just noticing it more now. I think because yeah. it used to be to help me with my anxiety to not think about shit, but now I'm like, go for that walk, do this thing, go yeah. for that, yeah. which is not every day. I'm still battling that. Yeah, sometimes that's okay. I get stuck. This thing is a piece of. These things are pieces of shit. No, they're, they're the worst. But it's the fucking worst. And it's too much information that we're getting. This is all the same talk we've all had before. We know what they are. When you get up in the, help when it. you get up in the morning, do you immediately grab your phone? <clears throat> when I get up in the morning, I immediately grab my phone, yes. But only it's because but only because my hours are really it's actually no, it's because I it's because I'm addicted to my phone. I'll just say it. That's but fair. I wake up and I do that because I know everyone's texting me and I'm not answering and I feel like I have to answer people, otherwise they're all gonna think I'm fucking dead. Yeah. But here's what I'll say to everybody. Here's what I'll say to everybody. If I don't answer your your message, yeah, past five days, check come check out. Ask me. somebody else. Yeah, if I'm okay, if, 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 if they've heard from me. me. Yeah, because I'm probably fucking dead. Yeah, because the thing is, is the way I live my life, <laughs> right. no one would know like if I was dead or not. Twenty four hours, forty eight hours, maybe. No one. That's the one thing that scares me is that no one would because I'm thinking I want everyone to know I'm dead. Because yeah. <laughs> I would feel bad. Because yeah. no one would know I was dead. When uh, when my best friend Mirag died, they didn't yeah. check his room for a minute the rock, because the they, Rog Ness monster. They would, yeah, shout out to young Mirag. Shout, shout out, out to the Rog Ness. Um, he would uh, be in his room all the time and yeah. sleep. So they didn't know if he was. They didn't know for a minute. Yeah. Obviously, it was he was living with them. Thank God. Yeah. So that they could find their son. You yeah. know what I mean? But I'm by myself. So and my and in my mind, it's not that like. Um, I don't know. 
I try not to be like, sometimes I'm at home and I'm like, dude, you're thinking about like death too much. And I'm like, you're not fucking Tupac. Like relax. Yeah. But maybe you're thinking about death because you appreciate life more. I do. I yeah. love life and I want to keep living. So That's it's like, normal. not. so I'm trying to pay attention to things. Cause right. I want to, I want to be that way. But it's the same way dad said he was like, I didn't think I was going to make it to fucking 30. And I did. Yeah. Cause there's just Shit. that anxiety in his Fuck mind. You tell him. Right. But in my mind, I'm also saying to myself, like, okay, I want to get there. I want to be this far. So like now we got to start doing things to take care of yourself. So that's also why I'm just, I'm never going to go back to like that drinking that stuff. But that, I also want to be, I want to be able to be around people long enough. It sounds so weird, but I want to be around people long enough so that they know when I died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, bro, like I think I, <laughs> that's sad. If yeah, nobody yeah. calls you for five days and they're like, oh, he's just being Michael and I'm at home and there's fucking poop coming out of my butt. And I'm rotting to death. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, but it wouldn't be because we didn't call you. It's because we got used to you not calling yeah, us not back. Calling, not, yeah. But I'm not blaming anybody else. I'm, yeah. I'm blaming me. Right. Because I know yeah. that's my fault. I and I'd be at home with fucking probably like, and my worst fear is someone's going to find me with porn on my phone, even yeah. though it's not even crazy porn. Right. But like my worst death is like someone's gonna come home and I'm just gonna be like that. Yeah, like, yeah, but at least you died happy. Yeah, and it's gonna be on it's gonna be on a loop and they're gonna open the door yeah. and be like Michael and it's gonna be like ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, 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 and I'm just uh, fucking like fucking just, just sitting there like just like purple. Yeah, which is a hilarious story. Though, it right? is a great story. It is. Man. Yeah, like yeah, we got but in I, there. He was watching fucking like Asian lesbians. <laughs> but 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 here's God, what, I love Asian lesbians. Yeah, I don't I don't they're blame so them. hot they're so hot. But now now now. But the thing is this is that you're a hooker. You're you're a hooker. <laughs> but it, the thing is this, bro. If, if you were to ever completely disconnect from the world, right? You that means you would have to stop twitching, you would have to stop streaming. Right, which you, you see it, all of it. Like, yeah, which yeah, you yeah. see all of it. Like yeah. everybody's on to it. Like yeah. after three or four days, somebody would reach out to me and be like, Hey man, I know I don't know you. But like, where's Michael? But, then? but what the fuck's up with Michael? I mean, and and now now I I challenge myself every morning to not touch my phone or my vape as the first thing in the morning. Yeah. I I recently switched to nicotine free vapes. Good, right? Yeah, it's a, um, it's a start for yeah, sure. It, it's a start, right? Because I'm trying to like break away from this lifelong fucking addiction to to nicotine. You know what I mean? Like, and it's it's hands down the most addictive thing in my life and but now like you said it's the fucking phone so in the morning when i wake up i will go to reach for my phone and literally out loud like people always ask me like as you get older what changes as you get older you talk to yourself yeah like, fucking out loud yeah bro i have full conversations with myself publicly <laughs> i'm just thinking about you at home i'm just thinking about you at, at like, home bro home. in I'm just cvs about, i'm just oh well you gotta be careful there but i don't give a fuck but you're <laughs> i don't give a fuck i'm just thinking about you i'm just thinking at, at you at home just going like yeah but it's just like you know what i mean dude that's exactly what i do <laughs> Is that you, how it you, sounds bro that how it sounds. that's exactly how it sounds yeah and i will like yeah but you know I, like and i, I will just, literally <laughs> i will literally look look i will get up i swear to god i will get up in the morning Open my eyes, be like, "Oh shit, I woke up. That's awesome." And then go to look for my phone and out loud say, "Where's my phone?" Right? Say, "Where's my phone?" Yeah. Panicky, start fucking reaching under fucking shit, looking yeah. for it like yeah. it's my 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 fucking inhaler. And I'm like, yeah. and I literally say, "Go, Jared, stop." Yeah, no, calm nothing, down. Yeah, calm, calm down. down, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing that happened. Yeah, you're not. I don't in know the last that, is that like six, FOMO or something. Whatever the fuck it is, it's it's you have like it's fear a, of missing out on something. No, it's a it's it's boredom, bro. Yeah, it's boredom. When you when you're bored, right? I've done this. When I'm bored, I eat more than I ever normally eat. Yeah, right? or I go shopping. When, when I'm bored, I'll beat off. When I'm bored, I'll I'll try to do something that yeah. I normally don't do. Well, right? coming from a pro, it sounds like you're home too much. Right. Well, coming from a pro, it sounds like you're home. But if I'm bored and I have an option to reach for a guitar instead of my phone, then I'll reach for my guitar. Yeah. Or I'll just sit at the edge of my bed for the first five minutes of my day and just go, don't look at your phone. Don't fucking, don't think of anything. Don't even look at the time right now. Like just, just take the next five minutes to really just register waking up. Seriously. I know it sounds crazy. When I'm waiting for an elevator. No, it doesn't. I hit that's the elevator. That's what I've been doing. I hit the elevator button, right? Boom. 
And mm -hmm. now, now the elevator's on the 30th floor and I'm on the first. I'm like, fuck, this thing's going to take forever. The first thing I do is I reach for my phone. I don't even have the capacity to wait for a fucking elevator. Yeah, to get without that. touching that's without touching my phone. Like, dude, that's not a fucking good thing. But so it's now a, it's I catch also a way people doing, fight with anxieties too. Which is fine. Which is fine. To but kill you know, that but, silence. But you know how I fight with anxiety now? I just stop. Instead of using this fucking thing, because yeah. then I open up Instagram and I look at Instagram and that gives me fucking anxiety. Well, I went seven months without a phone one year because I couldn't afford one. Uh, this was yeah, like when? When was that? This was like four years ago. No shit. Uh, and uh, it was, it was. You start feeling the difference of how you have to look at people and shit and notice everything around you, and it's so fucking weird. Yeah. Because you do get out of that funk. I gave myself last week stop looking at this fucking thing and just turn it off, and I turned it off. But the thing is, is like you're at home. Like, what else am I gonna do? Because I don't. I like as much as I love video games. I don't want that to be the only fucking thing I do. Like, you gotta. You, I'm trying to be more active and do all that stuff. So, that's usually what I'll do. But it's just like people are contacting you. Sometimes you meet a girl and she's fucking messaging you every day, and you don't want to yeah, seem like you're ignoring because this has become a norm. Would We're you, fucking evolving in the cyborgs. Yeah. Would bro. you say you have an addictive personality though? I mean, yeah, I guess, but not to the point where like I need to go to like rehabs and stuff. No, but but enough to say that you're addicted to some of these things. Yeah, yeah, because I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm not addicted to I my have, phone. I, I, I have an addictive day. personality. But the thing is, is I'm phone phones phones have become a normal ad addictiveness. Right, but think about what you just said. You're normalizing addiction. Yeah. To but, the point where you, but our relationship with technology is so different, though. It is. It's it is part normal. of our. It's part of our evolution. It's like it's we're part, actually it's bec we're becoming cyborgs. Yeah, it's like it's like when a car became relevant. If you, you, know you, if you took like, okay, if you took oh a, yo, we used to ride horses. Now I got a Ford, and it's like I get it, but you don't really need a Ford. Yeah, but if you took a video right mm -hmm. of the very first human, like the very first like normal bro, they look and like he's us. sitting on a couch. If he's sitting on a couch and he's chilling, he's chilling. And it's like fucking time lapsing. And blah, 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 blah. then he's on. Then he's on. Uh, he gets up. He goes. He radio. Uses, he he's uses on a, a phone. phone. He's yeah. radio. Radio in a car. Radio in this. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. He's moving. Moving. He's on a boat. Then, he's on a plane. This, then yeah. it's this. And then it's like the phone starts like this, and it's like, oh, 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 and it gets closer. It gets closer. And the next thing you know, it's like fucking chips inside your neck and yeah. shit. And then you're getting up, and you're fucking. You're like moving shit with your brain, and you're fucking. Well, and look then, at dad. Look at dad. Yeah. Dad didn't get an iPhone until like five years ago. Yeah, and now he won't leave me alone. And now you no, can't fucking get... No, no, no. no. no I actually love Dad sends me. No, I, like, I love I like, Dad. Me too. I love Dad's activity on fucking Instagram me because too. he sends me a bunch of shit all the time. Yeah, he's loving it. And it's such a great way to to health, like in, in a healthy way, stay yeah. in contact with someone. Yep. Like throw yep. somebody a meme, something that made you laugh. And, he, and, and we from, might not he's, talk... He's from, from the 50s. Right, and he's from the fucking 50s. Yeah. 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 Right? Mm -hmm. Mom is the same way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's susceptible to this addiction to these phones, bro. Yeah, you, you, it doesn't matter they're, what fucking. They're so funny from. in the group chat. They're like, "Are people seeing our messages?" Yeah, they're like, got, "Yeah, dude." Yeah, they got fine. all worked up. Uh, and we had to start like a new group, like a new family group. Now it's like family two point yeah, yeah, but also like the younger kids, they probably <laughs> don't want to fucking talk in the group all day, or they don't. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like that's what I mean. You sure. you're not. How do you separate yourself from something that everybody else has the same addiction? Dude, find something else that make you know. listen addiction bro or you uh, gotta start telling people your schedule addiction is the search for immediate stimulation here's what i think that is addiction i agree but here's Find what i think something these else that do. stimulates you immediately and put this fucking thing down for an extra 20 minutes a day and then gradually get more and more and more a day that you're away from it and you get better yeah that's so much easier said than done though. i know but but, but it's a good plan. Start with five seconds. No, bro. it's a good plan. It, start like like I said. Instead of grabbing your phone first thing in the morning, sit at the edge of your bed, and instead of five minutes of this, just do five minutes of breathing. They do need two to. They need to add more things to this though, where it's like you put a schedule. Instead of saying I'm not at my phone right now, or yeah. si or notifications are silent, which is a new thing that iPhones are yeah, doing yeah, now. Yeah. It needs to say won't be on my phone from this time to this time and show up on the other person's thing yeah. so that they can expect you or tell someone your fucking schedule too. Because yeah. my problem is you're you're talking about the addiction part. I'm talking about how I have to be on there for my work. You know what I mean? Yes. So it's like, it's hard to separate, but also I don't all the time because you're, you're right too. Like give yourself some minutes, which is what I actually have been doing. But what, what are, do you have an addictive personality? 
Are you kidding? Right. I'm, so I'm gonna. I dude. Right. I'm an, so what's your what's addict. your big right? But what's your biggest? What's always been your biggest one? Honestly, what's been the biggest chemically thing for you? nicotine? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, because uh, you've been smoking since you were like fucking. I've nine. been smoking cigarettes since I was 11 years old. Yeah. How did you get your first fucking cigarette? You, you want to look cool. Yeah, but how do no, you, you don't get wake it? up at eleven in in the fucking nineties. You could walk into a store and just fucking buy no, cigarettes. No, you couldn't. It, no, you, listen, you got it from no, like no, no. you got it from like one of your friends' no, 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 no. shitty parents. No, I, I'm I'm exaggerating. Here's what we used to do. We used to go into Walgreens, mm -hmm. right? And at the time, Walgreens was selling cigarettes. That changed recently in certain states. And I would ask them for something. Yeah. On the top Aww. shelf, and on the side of the register. There were cartons of cigarettes. Oh, you were a cigarette ninja. I was a cigarette ninja, and I would steal them. Then also, <laughs> and I would steal them. And I would steal them. So they turn around and grab something, and I grab a pack of Marble Reds and throw them in. And I, they look back. Did it matter them. which ones you got? At or? that point, Reds, because the, because the variety of cigarettes wasn't as vast. Menthol cigarettes were either Cools or Newports. Right. Paul Malls, Marlboros, Lucky Strikes, Marlboro Lights, and Newports um, weren't as fucking cool. Benson Hedges, like you. you, you there Newports weren't, weren't cool yet either at that no, age. Newports that you were stealing, were the, right? Newports were the cools. Cools were the cigarette. Were the menthol. No, cigarette. but I mean, Newports weren't no, popular no, 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 at no. that time for kids, though. No, for, right when Mar you were Marble, that age, you went with the brand that you knew. You went with the brand that you would steal from, like your aunt. You know what I mean, or whatever. So that's how we started smoking. Virginia but, Slims. but back in the day, you could go to a store and be like, "Hey, I'm buying cigarettes for my aunt." Yeah. And milk and eggs, and they would give it to you. They wouldn't stress you about this shit. Then later on, somebody would just buy you cigarettes, and most of the time, we would just steal a carton, and then we would just share. Who's them. the first relative that found out that you smoked cigarettes? Who caught? Who caught you, or who did you smoke with? Kiana. No, the first time I ever smoked a cigarette was probably probably with like Ben or some shit, or the Florios. The Florios and I used to fucking. But smoke like who? Cigarettes. But like who knew in the family that you smoked cigarettes? Like, Probably like who? Like dad. who caught? Like do you have a story think, of like the first yes, time you got caught? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you a story when I first got caught. So, <laughs> so we were living. You guys were living in. We weren't living in Jersey yet, but we were frequently, frequently visiting Jersey. Right, we were right? frequenting. Frequenting. We were frequenting as as far as uh, vacation goes. Anyhow, yeah. um, dad came in to check the like my laundry in my room yeah and i just nonchalantly like threw a pack of reds in the top drawer and dad was furious of and course goes, yeah he's like, and he's just like this? yeah he's just like, what the fuck this is what you're doing with your life and blah 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 you're fucking smoking and blah 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 Cigarettes. yeah it's still bad and, and he was not happy about it he was super pissed i must have been 13 Jesus, yeah, 14. I would have punched you in your face. Thirteen or fourteen, he knew I. But at that point, I was smoking cigarettes. I was selling bud. I was like, I'm smoking bud. Oh, uh, you at were 13, selling weed that early? At thirteen, yes, I was. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. It was. It's dirt must have been dirt. Yeah, but it was selling though. Yeah, it was. But it, it was the best. <laughs> it was the best bud you could get there. This is pre haze hydro. Yeah, it was this just days. was this just hydro? This, this was just like some skunk bud yeah. that was still dope bud. Yeah. You know what I mean? And fat ass dimes. God, and I, rem I remember the first time I saw weed in a bag, and it was like the craziest thing. Yeah, like, it was like it was borderline. It was like crack. It was yeah. like looking at. It, I was like, is that a regular? I was like, that's fucking mar mm -hmm. illegal marijuana. You know, that's what you say, and then you smoke for the first time. And a lot of people have that story where they didn't get high at all. Yeah, uh, and I didn't get high at all, really. But that's because I don't think most people know how to smoke the first time. Right, they don't inhale. They don't whatever. inhale it, or they're or just like, yeah. or they're scared. Yeah, they're scared. And they and take little baby pulls. Remember, I took the the big hits, and I fucking Dude, was, it I was the best hammered. feeling ever. Yeah. yeah, me and Dougie Albanese. Yeah, you got fucked up. I looked at. Do you, do you remember? Were you in Hastings? When Dougie you were Albanese. I wonder where he's at. I smoked the first time, and my friend turned into a a fucking oompa loompa. Are oh, you started tripping out? Like he was talking, and while he was talking to me, everything got black, and I just saw his face in a void. Like he, like, and he was a white guy, so he looked like the moon. Right. Oh, it just became like a negative. Yeah, around yeah. Set. It came negative. Everything like was shrinking around him, but in a really comfortable way. Right. Yeah. And he was it's like, because like this, because this was before I had anxiety, really. Yeah. So that kind of shit didn't like freak me out, and he was like. 
it was like blackening around him and then he just turned into like this little like you know like that f like a moon in like a cartoon kid show yeah 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 and it's he's like, like the, you know what the i mean moon with the talking and he's like face. Yeah. yeah and he's like you know what i mean 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 and i and i just like, while yes, he was in the yes, middle of talking yes, i just yes. went oh <laughs> and then he was just like yo you good i was like yo this is fucking amazing bro and he starts dying laughing because yeah. he was like this is your first time getting high then yeah he's like this is your first time actually getting high high i was like Yo, I want to do mad shit right now. I want to draw. I want to rap. Yeah. Like I wanted to do like a million different creative things. <laughs> and he's just like, dude, chill. Like just yeah, chill. Dude, like this. <laughs> and uh, the first weed we time. smoked, and the first weed I got high off was fucking trash. It was like pissed on weed. It actually was like pissed on. I think. Like some kid pissed on it to make it smell weirder Jesus or something. Christ. Yeah, no. I don't know. It was like yellow. It's he even he said he goes, this is poops. So we yeah. used to call it poops. 12, 12, 13. and then after that it was. Alcohol I'd had before that, but alcohol was way harder to get. And I don't think any of us really wanted to get drunk at right. like 13 or 14. That. We yeah. just, it wasn't in our head. I, I want to say that drinking didn't really start for me until like later on high school. Yeah, me too. You know like I mean? 16, Whereas 17. Like keg parties. Yeah. That's when drinking yeah. started. I faked but, getting but, drunk in eighth grade. Oh, did you? No, dude. The first time I got drunk, I was like eleven, like threw I, up all over dad. I couldn't physically drink beer when I was a kid. It sickened the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. I, of like I, I, it was because when you first start drinking, it's you're ju you don't like how it tastes at all. Right. You're just trying to get through it to look cool. Exactly. And I Cigarette was like, sick, and I was afraid shit. of throwing up. I was afraid of getting sick and mom and dad finding out. So I didn't really push myself. But my friends stole beers when we were in eighth grade. Yeah. And I remember just like not even a buzz because like, I was like I was taking that. like but I was drinking but it was like little Baby I would drink sips. one can and they were like yeah and then he was puking and I was like I don't want to live like yeah, that. I don't do that so I hated alcohol for the longest yeah, fast time fast forward two years later yeah uh, <laughs> like yeah two or three years later and I was just like yo fuck this and I got and I threw up and I loved it I was like I'm puking all over my legs I don't care it's like yeah <laughs> and like and one of the first times I got drunk. <laughs> One of the first times I got drunk, I was with two of my friends and we were having the best night ever. Yeah. And I ruined it because I was just so happy and I didn't get drunk like that. And I threw a stick really far and I, and I like looked back at my friend and we were talking and I just heard like, oh, and I hit uh, my other friend what did this thing? from like 30 yards away, dude. And we went over and I was like, how bad is it? He goes, how bad is it? And he take he opens up his legs like this yeah. and the, the stick that I through had like i guess like this pointy part it was in his leg and it was inside <laughs> of his leg <laughs> dude i threw it from like 30 yards like away a javelin yeah and i th but i it wasn't even into a crowd i just hit him and he goes holy shit um and he was just bleeding he all just down his he, leg he was wearing shorts and he was bleeding all down his leg and then we just kept going into town and drinking it was like the best night of my, it was like the because yeah. you know those moments come with the alcohol running from crop cops. Yeah, yeah. There's the f yeah. There's the fun craziness about it right. for sure. And those are the, and it's over. That shit's over. Like no. g getting drunk, throwing up all over myself, waking up, ordering thirty bagels, uh, fucking smoking weed, and then yeah. drinking again the next those day. Those days are gone. It's completely over. And I'm glad it is because it's a terrible thing to do to yourself. No, no, it is. It it's is. cool but when I, you're a kid. I can't remember the last time. You know what? The only time I can say that I get. <clears throat> that buzzed or drunk now is if i cut myself off at some point right so if i have like like today i've had two beers and, and a hennessy right yeah. yeah one more of each and i'm at the perfect level i'm good borderline like drunk but completely functional and mm -hmm. not getting into any trouble mm -hmm. anything after that is excessive yeah it's too much yeah, and, because, I, it, and our bodies are letting us know yeah, time, they're letting you know. time's they're letting like, us dude it's too much and in most cases, people that you're with are just like, bro, you're acting different now. Like, or you can hear yourself. You become a slur. I'm sure from the beginning of this video to right now, my voice sounds might be sounding different. But that is the perfect amount of intake for that. When you're a kid, it's just everything is excessive. You just yeah. want to do everything. So it was like when you asked me if I'm an addict, yeah, but I'm a I have an addiction to multiple things. And I'm realizing that now in my life that before I even get into it on this, when I start my podcast, it's the things that I'm going to talk about. That's how real it'll get. And and talk about what an addictive personality, what kind of shit you can get into, bro. Whether it's whether it's sex, whether it's alcohol, whether it's relationships, whether it's work, whatever it is. It's like noticing that that is part of your behavior is something that's important to figure that out. And you figured that out in this time. And I'm sure after after what month 
did it stop being as difficult? Uh, the fourth. The fourth. Yeah, because the third, the second one was fucking annoying because I was just like, I'm not going to be able to do this. And yeah. the third month was like, I've been here before because I did three months before that. Um, be- before this, before yeah, this the longest stand. I had gone was three months, and I thought yeah. that was a huge deal. And I was like, all right, I can start drinking again. And this time I was just like, fuck this. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be better for myself. Like, cause I'm 36 and I'm trying to go to at least like, you know, dad had his heart attack and he didn't do half the shit that we all do. Dude, you know half, what I mean? a fucking um, none of it. fraction. Yeah. So it's like, no, we've a, already a, done a, things a to harm ourselves. So yeah. now it's like trying to get a little bit of that back. I'm not trying to live till fucking 80 anyway. I'm just saying 80 like, though. No, 80. You got to try to hit. No, nah, I don't want I'll I'll do like 70. Get me at like 78 or 79. Nah, dude, I need you. I need I need you mid 80s. No, nah, I don't, don't want to get there. I don't want to get to 90. I don't want to be Fuck like 90. Then I don't do it. I don't want to be I don't want to turn into fucking wet paper mache. Yeah, but what if we're and all my old, skin is just what like if all of a sudden you just start <laughs> seeing things that growing and you're like everything's like you're shaking. Like <laughs> I don't want any of that shit. <laughs> Life is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Life is absolutely beautiful, and I fucking love it. I do. I really do. But I don't want. I don't want to. I'm like so afraid of getting to that point. But I I, do. I need 85 because if you're 85, like oh oh, yeah, yeah. Like you know how an old people respond that they go oh yeah, (laughs) and then they didn't hear anything you fucking even said. Like I don't want that shit. But that's funny though. It is. is, I don't want people laughing at me dying (laughs) slowly. (laughs) Fuck you guys. Yeah. But look. If we're seven years apart, right? You're 87 yeah. and I'm 80, right? Mm-hmm. So, so that means that when I'm 92, yeah, yeah, uh, which I'm certain I'm gonna live into my 90s. I could be wrong. I could be gone tomorrow. But there's something that in my dreams and in my life, I feel this number in the 90s. That means you'll be mid 80s. I need I feel you. It, I, need I, you. I, I low key. I don't do want feel you to go it. before me. I, I low key do feel it too, though. I feel like you're going to. I feel gonna 80s live. and all that too. Yeah. But I also <laughs> tell myself all the time, you don't take care of yourself. You're going to die early. Yeah, so I don't feel that. Well, earlier. But our family is pretty successful in that rate other than uh, Uncle Frankie. So, I mean, yeah. Frankie was what? 60 something? Yeah, probably. Like he was in his 60s. Yeah. So Probably. dad already beat him. But I don't think I don't I don't th- I, it may have just been diet and stress for Uncle Frank. I don't think well, he yeah, was, he a was big, tall. Yeah, I don't think he was a big drinker. He also had a, think, he also had a bad, he had heart disease, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. But, so. but I'm just I'm saying that's genetically in our it, it's in our genes, right? To have that. So also my penis. But, but right, that's also yeah, I also died from scoliosis from my ding dong being too big and my back fucked up. Listen, all I'm saying is this. Mm-hmm. If those things are more likely to get us because genetically they're part of our our DNA. Then yeah, you should take it seriously. Where changing your life and your diet and all this other shit is important. But I also know people that lived a long fucking time eating bacon, drinking booze, smoking cigars. Yeah, but their bodies are all different. And shit. Know? Not everybody can do that though. I not everybody see. can. Not everybody can do that. I know what you're saying, but yeah. everybody's fucking yeah, different. No, Some guess, people just got different. lucky. Keith Richards fucking. Put needles up his asshole, dude. Keith and that Richards, guy's fucking ninety or something. Is he? Keith Richards. He's yeah. like eighties. He's probably. This is the first like episode we've done where we didn't Google one thing. Yeah, you we didn't look for anything. You and I haven't fucking googled shit. I'm looking at this new. He's he's old. He's old though. He's just fucking very old, and he did a lot of goddamn drugs. Like yeah. he was very, 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 very much doing fucking drugs. I'm getting the weirdest videos for it, but the, right. So but he, he was also he's seventy nine years old. And, he's seventy nine only. He's seventy nine, bro. He's only. looked terrible for but a long time. But that's because he looked like he was eighty when he was twenty five. And you gotta also remember, dude, they partied like that up until their twenties. A lot of these guys were fucking clean come their thirties and forties. Clapton cleaned up early. Keith Richards cleaned up. Bowie cleaned up. A lot of those dudes cleaned up early. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've these people have been famous since they were 18, 19, yeah. 21 years old. Mm-hmm. Junkies fucked up through their 20s into their 30s. They marry the right woman. Hopefully that woman straightens you out. You don't fuck with it anymore. And then you're clean for the next 50 years of your life. Yeah. They, they went nuts for fucking for 15 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like and then they bounce back and they're like, all right, fuck it. Now, Keith Richards still smokes cigarettes. I yeah, took care of him a couple years so, ago. That's what's so crazy. That dude. Yeah, someone just like, they were like, they're like, "Hey, Keith, what's the fucking secret?" He's just like, "Yeah, what's the lie, dude?" Yeah, I'll dude. Yo, yeah, I all that. God, listen, yeah. this is exactly how it goes. Fuck it is. Keith, oh. Keith's getting up from his table to go smoke a cigarette, and some fucking Guido dude is just like, "Hey, Keith, what's the secret, man?" And Keith is like, 
He's looking through his fucking jackets and he's doing the the universal like tap like the pocket tap through your anus. And, and he's looking. He's got a cigarette unlit in his mouth he, and he's looking for his lighter. And he's like, uh, well, sometimes you just like get lucky, mate. Man, fuck it up. You just get lucky. You know what I mean? Like that's what it comes down to. Yeah, but and not everyone's the, gonna get lucky though. Not sometimes you, know I mean? you, you just can say, get you lucky. can say that like, bro, you can just get lucky and like then that person fucking dies the next day and do you, they weren't. Do, you know Justin, I mean? do you think living in your eighties makes you lucky or or regular? It's 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 pretty it's a pretty average I don't age. know. Hopefully I don't live till fucking eighty. What's the average age? What's the average uh lifespan? Average lifespan of men. I just think you got to be as healthy as what dad's 73 doing. years. Dad's like so dad's in great shape for where he's at now. But dad's not in great shape. Dad could be in better shape. He's better than he was. What yeah, do you no, mean? No, he's no, like, he's, he's better than he's weight. ever been. Yeah. But think about it. He could be a guy like he's active too. Dad's always moving around the yeah, property. He's always there. moving. He's, he's always trees. doing He's shit. fucking chasing the dog around. Yep. He's not like a lump on a log. But I'm just saying, imagine dad got out and fucking did like yeah, but weight who, training. Who of any of us yoga. is like that in the family? None of us are. We're all kind of fucking. Right. Yeah. No one's doing that. Who's doing that besides, like, who's the healthiest in our family that's just, like, a health nut? Nobody is. There's not a Prob- single probably, fucking person. Probably mom. And she doesn't, and, she, and she's the only no, one. No, but that, you know, I mean, exercise and not fucking having more pills right than Dwayne Reed. Right now, I mean, it, and me at the minimum, because I exercise, like, three or four times a week. Yeah. Yeah. But even then, and it's simple. You, but it's, even it's then, yoga, it's bands. I got yeah, bands but even right then, here. I think what you're talking about is also just balance. You still do unhealthy things, though. I do. Like I, you don't eat the healthiest of meals. You drink. You drink. I drink. You yeah. mix drinks. You you still smoke cigarettes occasionally here and there. Yeah, not as often as I used to. But yeah, not as bad. Oh, I'm not saying that I'm like a fucking no, health and not, freak. And I'm yeah. not calling you out. I'm just saying yeah. who in our family is that is dedicated that f- dedicated to it? Nobody, Nobody is. Yeah. And my my point's going to go to you is that everybody in our family so far seems to be doing. I mean, they get they get to a decent age unless someone one of us gets heart disease or has it. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So, and I think I'm really the only one that's ever had like weird blood pressure here and there. But well, it's been it. but it's been better because also sleep, all that fuck, fucking drugs and everything else. Yeah. Like sleep good, take yeah. care of yourself, eat better, and be in good relationships and stay away from negative fucking shit. Stay away from negative shit. And you know what? Honestly, bro, I think we can end it on that. Yep. We've been at it for a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. Uh, uh, it's been it's been good to do the show with you one on one. I think yeah. you know it's funny because when I'm doing the shows with you guys one on one, the energy is different. Like, of course, it it's is. unique. You yeah. know, like you and I get into these combos. Danny and I get into it as well. But I'm glad that we got to do it. Uh, just you and I. I yeah. love you. I'm love fucking you proud of you. Thank you, man. Seriously, bro. Yeah. Like all this shit. Yeah. Well, I'm that proud you, of you too for being listen, alive. For the, fucking amen. But but what I'm seriously don't like, touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Yeah. <laughs> Get your there are, no, there are people. Off, there yeah. are people that are still like like. Are you weird with like A physical contact? Yeah. No, I love not at all. Contact. Okay, yeah, okay. But from all people, I love it. I've always that's been, a good thing to have. I've though. always I'm very physical. Even with like my guests at work, I'm like, I'm you not need weird with it. You know yeah. what? I'm weird with it when mom does it. Yeah. What do you think that is? No, not as much, not yeah. anymore. But when she used to rub my well, back, you don't want to be baby. Like, don't fucking you don't want, touch. Yeah, me. you don't want to be baby. Ma- you think that's yeah, what it yeah, is? Yeah. yeah but ba- where do yeah, I get yeah. that? Like, I've always been that way too. Like, I've not to get out of my room, from, mom. No, not even, not honestly, even that. I've never been that way toward. I've been like, shut the fuck up when I was a kid. Yeah. And a brat, but I've never been like, get out of my room right now. No. I've never been that because when mom could because I was yeah because if I did, dad would have beat the yeah or dad would have beat the shit out of us. Like, don't talk to mom like that. No. But. Yeah, yeah I, I have this mom, thing where I'm like, don't. I haven't asked mom and dad for money since I was like fucking 16 years yeah. old. I think it's the same for you, right? It's been a while. No, I mean, I ask mom and dad for money every now and then. It's just oh. to see if they'll give it to me, though. I don't. I didn't even mean to like get you to say that. <laughs> it's just to see if they'll give it to me. I, I don't, just want to see I, if they'll give it to me. I haven't asked them. I don't know why I'm like that. I don't know. Now I'm better. If mom does it now, I'm like, I'm lucky to still have my mother fucking like yeah. rubbing my no, I love, feel I, better, I've, you know? I've always been a fan of physical affection. Yeah. I, I've always been a fan of that, whether it's with like anybody. It doesn't matter. Physical affection to me is, is probably my, my love language. Also, you know what, what I mean? do you notice the difference between for me and Danny and shows? What's the big what's the big difference you think you see? I think not I, us. In just shows? Mo- like, yeah, like. Like what I think it, when you do one, honestly, with me, I think with Dan, Danny's comical approach to it is different. I yeah. think you, I think you and I get into like deeper conversations. Yeah, 
And, and not to say that Danny doesn't have depth, but I think Danny, I think Danny likes to right, use the content. Dude, it's soulless. Uh, but no, Danny just is. I think Danny. I don't know. I feel like both of you kind of give me the same vibe. It's older brother, younger brother kind of vibes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I guess and people respond to it. You know, they they like. Well, that, Danny that. is off the cuff, so it's like he doesn't come to this yeah, podcast to do to that mental focus that all time. But when no, you and me do this anyway all the time. You know yeah. what I mean? Dan, yeah, Danny. I think Danny. I think is a little bit more comically driven when I do the one on one shows with him. But for you, you know, we're older dogs, bro. We're gonna talk about older dog shit. Yeah, I'm loving this beard, bro. By the way, I, I look like honest. a fucking goddamn. No, I like it though. It looks lush. It looks healthy. Uh-huh. It's shiny. I'm, like I'm gonna fucking... see the lineup. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go like? You, you... I don't know. Just surprise us. I don't know. That's I, it. I look like fucking. I just. I you look, look in the mirror, and I'm like, you know what? Leave the mustache. Go over the lip. I look like fucking Master Splinter right now. <laughs> I don't like it. Well, it's straggly because you don't. Michelangelo. Work. Michelangelo. The turtles. The turtles. I made a funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shredder. Shredder. Yeah. April Neal fat tits. There's a, oh. there's a rat in pajamas with a Michelangelo. Cane. That was Anyhow. my favorite one. How I used to do Michelangelo's name. Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Remember, it. remember Donnie or the uh, Danny, whatever that kid, Donnie, whatever the young guy, yeah. the young Asian guy in the second one, yeah, who could not, do like those crazy Donnie? moves. It's Donnie. So his dad is was in like a Mortal Kombat or something, oh, or shit. he is. Yeah. That dude's a beast. He's in the rock, the movie with the Rock and. Sean, yeah. whatever. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a book of the cat. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> but you see that movie's so Kansas funny. Kansas City, yeah, Kansas yeah. City, yeah. Muhammad Ali, and he's like, and he's like doing like that, yeah. yeah. That so, dude is he, and that's him, right? Same yeah, guy. that's him. Same dude. I think it's like Don. It's not Donnie Yen's a different fucking yeah. guy. He he's like a, a, Donnie Yen is uh, is uh, old school kung fu shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. God, dude, uh, another uh, another thing before we go is like all of our movies were so much better back then. I feel like music was better back then too. But no, it feels like that. But the thing is, is just because we're we've lived longer, so we know more shit. And yeah. younger people only have their thing. Yeah, yeah. So their, their limit, thing their is what's good to them. Is limited. Yeah. yeah, their database but, is limited. But like, all, even just the movies, like the movies just felt. I mean, movies are like there are shit that's still good today, but I just feel like. Though, like, uh, I remember when we all went to go see Speed for the fr- like as a family together. Yeah. That fucking, dun, 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 dun. fucking Keanu Reeves skip, skip, and skip, Nev skip, Kemp, skip, skip. and everyone going to see Grandpa fucking came with us. Yeah, and we had the station wagon. There was just like a play where everybody was doing shit in the family, and then like you know you get older, it separates a little bit. But like, you should do a movie night. I always feel like it would be, but we don't do how like mom was going out and taking everyone was going to Kathy's house and it was 50 kids together yeah. and doing a slumber party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't do that. That's not even even for all the kids that you guys had. That was never a thing really. It was just parties. Yeah. You know, or holidays. Uh, right, mom and dads yeah, and it was usually holidays. mom and dads, yeah, or yeah. like holidays and shit. So It's true. It's true. Anyway, guys. Yep. I hope you guys have fat pussies. Yep. Me too, because uh, we skinny love fat ones are pussies. Cool, but fat, no, no. Fat are makes cool. better noises. Listen, um, be good to yourselves. Yeah. Be thank good you guys. To each other. Thank you guys for uh, watching the fucking podcast. You know what I'm going to play? Because we haven't played it in a while. Oh, the, the little uh, yeah, we got to do thing? it. Yeah, we got to do the. Uh, uh, where uh, can they find you on the internet? For Rat Devin. As Danny would do. Hold where do they find you on, on the internet? Hold on. I got this. Yeah. All right, guys. I got shows at Gramercy Theater coming up in fucking Austin, Texas. Guys, hit I got that, another hit that show. Subscribe button. I got another show in fucking Philbin, Argentina I'm coming up. Sh- I'm doing a show on the moon. I'm doing another show in uh, Conor McGregor's backyard. I'm also doing a show at Planned Parenthood. 3858. No, thank you guys so much for watching the show. Obviously, if you guys want to go check out, Danny Zlo Priori's got a bunch of shows coming up. Dude, I think he's going to he be really in DC. Does. He's going to be in DC in, uh, in October first. Yep. That's the next one. So if you guys are in DC, check out. I don't know where it is, honestly. Yeah. Uh, but because I'm not going to be there. But well, look at it. Look up. Dan- you guys know Danny. Check out oh, Danny's yeah. stuff. Danny Lo Priori on everything, I believe. Jared, where can they find you on the internet? Jared Lo Priori at Instagram. That's the only place right That's now. That's it. And I'm Michael underscore Lo Priori and uh, everywhere and Lo Priori Mike on X, Twitter, whatever the fuck yeah. it is. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Love you. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Join hit the, the like button. Hit Join the like Patreon. button. Fucking Come do on. it. Help us out, baby. And remember... We love you guys. Thank you for all the support. Thank you to all the real ride or die one. Low Priori boys out. Thanks for also dealing with the different vibes, whatever it is. Danny, we love you. We'll have you for the next one. Peace. And uh, take care, y'all.
Deuces! <laughs>